precious Jesus, we have a victory. That's good, we're going to come on the Lord. Come on, clap for Jesus. Clap for the Lord, for He is worthy. He deserves the praise and all the honor. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Thank you so much. Our praise worship team. Thank you. Let us resume our seats, beloved of God. We would like to continue, but our hearts are open before the Lord this morning. We cannot thank Him enough. It's been so wonderful to us. We glorify him. We magnify him. We praise him because he's a loving and mighty God. Niyandangu nsabe abakristayo mwena abaruga ankole dasis mutera kar ko kusemererwa ankole dasis wow 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 your grace those are your christians from the dasis of ankole actually the mother dasis of all the dasis of ankole now when Ankole <laughs> grew old and it gave birth to West Ankole Dasis. Abeshe Mawar Kurga West Ankole Dakar Koksemerer. Wow, wow, wow. Mkama Simu Tuachira West Ankole Dasis. Thank you very much. Mwer Kandi, Omano Wakuratiriho, Ne. North and Koledasis. Abarga North and Koledasis Akari. Mukama Simu Munonga Munonga Munonga. Now you are going to Baba Z. Where can you? Our home one of us is where our river is. Our one of the South and Koledasis. Our one of the South and Koledasis. South and Koledasis. Now, we also are blessed to have to in our Christayo, our Kurgum Reverezi, those sort of who which you would ever resort to, uh, Tiku and Akueta Kaherera, Kuanko Reverezo, Oto, no province, your honor, nobody ever is what North, West, and Kore, Nari, Aveva, and Dauko, Engarona, Karko, Samerwa. And then, as we shall be announcing a little later, we have our beloved brothers and sisters from other dioceses. I am told there are now over 10 that are represented here, and we shall receive you when I've received the list in, in, in full. Thank you so much, Mukama Simwe. Now, we are going into a time of intercessions. I shall invite the bishops, Right Reverend Henry Katumba Tamale, to come forward. The Right Reverend Dr. Sheldon Fred Mwesugwa to come forward. And Right Reverend Professor Alfred Olwa to come forward. And then I shall also request Omugori, Omreverezi, Omto, Omto Narumusia. Oh, Akiges Diasis, right, Reverend Gadi Akanjana, he's also here. Those are going to come forward. And right now, I ask that you humble ourselves as we uh, intercede for different aspects that I'm going to mention now. Right, Reverend Henry Katumba Tamale is going to pray for the nation, the country, Uganda.
Let's compose ourselves in prayer. Katukoteke kumitweja fe to sabe. Tukweba zanyo mukama. Olwe guanga lino Uganda. Di watua. Ama kura ngobu sikabu wa fe. Die uunisa kubanga liye balari Afrika. Ejinje tuwa kavu. Ngotuwele demu. Ebi omu wendo binji. Ebi mubili mutaka. Ebi lalabili kunguru. Na yoku singa vyo na favantu. Ngatuli mubika na ama wanga ninimi. Ebi enja ulo. Na yenge ebi osibi ebi tuwa ula. Ngatuga tibu wagwe. Mukama wafe Yesu Kristo. Eja notu firira. Kumusaraba orwebi ononobi ya fe Tuagaro kwebaza orwomu kule embeze wa fe Jeno yowe ilikaguta museveni Ne mama janet museveni Era na abalalabo na Abakula government ya wakati Okutu kila dareyo kubiyaro jetubela jetuvude Tuagaro kwebaza zenyo Oluwa saba sajia kabaka, runa di muenda mutebio uo kubiri, kabaka wa Buganda. Tukweba za, oluwa kati kilo, Charles Peter Maiga. Tukweba za, oluwa government ye, eye mengo. Oluwa mwili mwamuru unji guwa bakoze sa. Okututaba ganyana, haba antuwa bebitundu ebilala, mugwanga lino. Tuli wanonga tukweba za, Kubeso ngele tukunganyi za wano. Eyo kule eto msana mugwanga liyafe Uganda. Yatandi kila wano Buganda. Seka waka muteso uru vele velie. Boya yita abamisa ni nevajja. Nekula akurana na yone jirako. Kare mukama tufule chokule vila kechiru unji. Mumpisa za fe. Mukukiriza. Mumagezi no kutegera ebi vajori. Tuweba za mukama, kubanga webuke dele ero, otuonge dekoru na kolula, chinomu ali wano. Tukusaba, ntinga tukula mumubiri, tuonge dekoru na kolula, mumagezi gafe, okumanya no kutegera. Ewi natusobo ze sokuwe rezoburu unji kwe katondo mutukufu. Awatari bada, awatari rufunyiro. Tuwega ilai mukama, no kukiriza kwa fe. Okufana nako, okuwa bajuli ziba nobe tujuki lorua lero. Na alibadenga kusiri kitu, nga kaweke, akaka kalidari. Tukwega ilamu kama okuzimbu lukuse. Muve mwetie dene, ebi nyonyi mwebi na zimba, ebi subiabyo, atela okubela makage nsoro. Tukwega ilamu kama, otubelo kutaso butonde buwense no, Tuta niso kulaba, obuka ambwe, nobu wala gaze, ebi vamo butafa yo kulabilira, obutondo obwe nse na makura, je watu wangobu sikabu wa fe. Tuninyai mukama na ye mpola. Tukomi ya uomu kubo, e goroko fu. Elai mukama, orungamie e kanisa yo, mugwanga lino Uganda. Bweberi mukubo, jinyuele zemu. Bwebe wabie jikomi ya uomu kubo. Tuyoke tukolo omu ni mugo guo uti itide. Mubwe simbu, mumazima, awatari kutirira. Ngaba vuka wano betujuki loruare lwe bakora. Walua nebila labinji betutasavye uruwe guangali ya fe. Eto tuinza kuela bila. Emi wendo ejevi intueji paru use. Erobo li yao naba munga chibavudeba tainza kuja wano. Kubati tuwade tuchira vanga kwa diesel Okusinga petroli o muendo Elechi kuata kusonge Uchitu kusobra mbwa febo na Tukwege lai mukama Echisobo kwa uchikore Tumanyi Nte miwendo tejipade Uganda yoka Na ejipade ne musi yo na Na yotu kuati lechisai mukama Toke tuinzo kuwele zoburu unji Tubisabye Tuweba ziza Tuwega ili de Nga tuita mulinyari ya mrokozi wa fe, Yesu Kristo, mukama wa fe. Amina.
Donc, à moi, 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 nous, à vous, 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 I am Kamar Hango Shavoroswana. Xima Tinev Garchiro, Abuyok Tangaz of Yokora. Eva Mohandich was a buddy. Najara Mkona Mkama Toshemirik to Garavusia. Okatuiza Okshemerua. Zaburich Nana Nitano Mshorongo Guam Kaga. Will you not revive us, Lord, so that we may be filled with joy? Mukamar hango shavaros wona kankore ntu enda kusima karu karunji abuengiri e iziri omuchanga chito omuchichwe kachitu amashutagua shichereho abuwa buruzibe njiri abaru jere buganda bakature tere njiri kand na vishemwe abu kujunwa na wabi iziri mukamabu wakozi ise Nevijuma vyo kutanga zevi tulion tureva umuri nkore Osi mwe kando hawe chiti nisa mkama Kanto shawango yonjere chumwe kuturi inda nukutuwebe mbera Ituwe nka nkore Tutaruga anjiri eji Ea tujizire chituri Eka tui indraba ntubo mhendo umuri ngogo kutanga za Tukasha angaba gurusi naba kikuru Aba mwaba basize nukisie miyaki igana na muenda Igana na mkaga Igana Chinana chenda, ombu shwero burkwera. Aba shija naba kaziru nana makumi atano. Mwenu nitwe baha mkama. Okutukundo otyo, muringo gokutangaza. Mwenu tukushabango otisasiri, aitu shobizi. Otuozi otuezi, tukugarichiri. Abu kubana revival na yo, eje ya tujizire chituri. Eri yone eje ndani huera, kuonka. Ntu manyangu hati otu garu irebusia. Mweno tuwebe mbere kando yonjere kutulisa na kutunyuesa. Yevari ebiyo tihire, ebiyo utunji na biyo. Ebiyo mchanga chitu, amate, ebito oche, ebi hingwe biindi. Mukama na biyo yonjera kutulinda. Kwa mkama mkama ntu manyangu nebizubu na biyo biyo. Na sirimu eriyo. Na yone yonjera kanya. Mweno tukwa atereho, tukwa achire, otuzunde, otutambere. Kandi tujire nukutuwe yonjere kujira nukutuweje chiburunji Yebari nukutereza President Jeno Yowel kakuta Museveni Kandi na waru kurugo mchangecho Yonjera kumuherezo wenje Atuwele chokure wera hochirunji Ombiona Ebiara akore Kandi amuherugu aviona Izina liyawe liyonjere kutuhimi subwa Nukuhawe chiti nisa Naba nabitu nabi ushkurubitu wakumanye Yebari nukure wangu naba fumu naba junwa Aleluya Muka mantukusima Kure wangu na wafumu ni wajunwa umuri nkore. Kanda mkama ntishaba. Awafumu wawase kukwela hochi umuri nkore yitu. Izina li yawe liyonjere kuyimbisu wa kristo mkama wetu. We cannot thank God enough for the church. The church of Christ all over the world. And the entire Christendom. We are part of the Anglican communion throughout the world. And now let me take the opportunity to request my brother, Bishop Oloa Alfred, to come and pray for the Church of Christ. Let us pray. O oh God of all nations, the one God who is and was and always will be. In your providence, you will that your church be united to the suffering of your son, Jesus Christ. Look with mercy on your servants who are persecuted for their faith in you. Grant them perseverance and courage to be worthy imitators of Christ. O Lord, bring your wisdom upon leaders of nations to work for peace among all people. 
May your spirit open conversion, O God, for those who contradict your will, that we may live in harmony. Give us the grace to be united in truth and freedom and to always seek your will in our lives and receive our thanks, O God, for the growth of the church, particularly in this country, and for the freedom to worship you and express our witness to you. I pray all this through Christ our Lord. Mukama Simu Mnonga, Mweru, Tawagu Mzamuro Kshaba, Nyeda Kwachira, Oishemwe, Bishop Gedi Akanjuna, this is the most recent or recently consecrated Bishop of Kigezi. We cannot thank God enough for the families, for friends, relatives, acquaintances, and daughters and sons and parents. I request my brother to pray for the families and every aspect of the family, both in the other side of affinity and on the other side of consanguinity. May you pray for the families. Mkama Ruhanga Tatei Tuobu Shoboro Zubona Ntukusima Munonga Ahabwe Choncho Echamaka Echua Teideho Ukurabiru Muri Adam Na Awa Yebari Mkama Murunji Ahabokuba Nubu Haba Hoku Gwa Nuku Garu Kenyuma Ogumari Ruhanga Ogumano Sasira Ogumano Garu Rabusia Nambu Yenu Itu Nka Famire Ezi Jaha Osimu Munonga Ahabwe Chirechi Ntuenda kusima kristo wa rohanga. Habwe bichoncho vyoga vira maka. Harimu bichoncho ebya wana. Harimu vutu nji. Ntuenda kusima kristo wa rohanga. Habu kubebi yoni vyote katechera bantu. Nojolote muzare muka mnyi mngijurensi. Kandi tuwe nko kuturu kuenda. Ama kagaitu ni gahigwa. Aga mwe gari mwen taro gari mwen wano. Aga andistane gari umbire. Abana bahi nduka. Bazo mbito koza buonko. Abandi wazo mjubu shambani, abandi wazo mjubu sinzi, ama kagata atana. There is domestic violence and gender-based violence. Dear Lord, we thank you because you have never left us. You are always with us when we call upon your name. Mukama nitukushaba, mguwa gari gasyo, uyibusyo mkono guawe. Shabira maka gari kujena niga kuhimbisa. Agari kwa nebjana kura biru mrigeche cha wako zirwe. Obgawana wawe wato, wae here zayo. Wakajala mturuku basa okuinamira. Ebyebi mturuku gamba. Tuturuku basa kwe haka na izina rya Yesu. Nutujendo mui guru kuri tukuina mapapa tukauguru chile. Tukuina mukama ngu tukua techo. Tugaruko maka agaru kuhimbi sisa. Agaruko mbeke kanisa nunji. Agaruko mbeke changa chiru nji. Agaruko mbeke ihangali runji. Gakule tere chitini somu somu. Noku janja azobu kuru gawe. Ngueno ichiri zae mukama. In your name. As you talk to us. As you share everything to us, as you share love with us, Lord, let us stand firmly on the rock and fight the challenges of the world that are affecting our lives, that are affecting our fellowships, that are affecting our unity in our homes. Mukama ni tukushaba, ngobe hamwene, to garure busia ama kageitu, gabe nkokoru kuenda, gahe isi izi na rija awe chiti inisa, gabu urirenjiri yobu sinje no kushemere ruwa. Oburu nchibuka awene mbaba zawe tu sanjire. Omwe zinari ya tatei tuwe. Nerio mwana. Nerio mwero kuera. Tuwe na hamwe. Ombega ambwebio. Ebio kuendera. Mbaba zi. Zawamu kamwe tesu kristo. Okunda kwa warhanga. Okwa atarsa kumwe yoru kuera. Ngumena ito tuwe na. Aba ishe mbona. Hati na virubio na. Amina, kama simwe. Now we are entering into another very critical moment where we shall listen to the word of God. Your grace and we are privileged to have Uganda Bible Society with us. 
And as it has been our culture, sometimes we get someone who comes to read the word of God to demonstrate that with Christ all things are possible, even the those who cannot see with the physical eyes can still read God's word. And so let me request the team from Uganda Bible Society to bring us the reader of God's word and we shall move from there. Thank you very much. Your grace. Indeed, all things are possible. And the person who is going to read to us, coming over here, is the daughter of the great uncle. So she deserves a hand clap even before she reads. She read at the consecration of Bishop Gadi Akanjuna, and I think we all appreciated. Friends, as this reading is going to be taken from Lamentations, chapter 3. And I want to humbly request you to open there. Lamentations chapter 3. But also, as this girl reads, we want to tell the nation of Uganda that we are grateful to all the life members of Bible Society of Uganda because they have enabled a blind girl, a blind person, say, I was blind, but now I can see. So friends in the congregation, if you are a life member of Bible Society of Uganda, I want to humbly request you just to wave to the bishops here on the podium. Just wave to them and say, I am a life member of Bible Society of Uganda and I'm part of this story. Bishops, you can see how many life members we have. 2,000 in Uganda today. And we are grateful for this. And as we take the reading today, look on page 149 of the order of service and you will see something about Bible Society. God is giving us a gift in our time of a new Bible house. That will generate more money so that we have more Bibles for the blind people. Brethren, when we started the Braille Bible, we didn't know the impact. But today we are going to demonstrate that to you. Bishop, just in a moment, you will see what this girl is going to do. That challenges many of us. I think we would want to see her, not so. So we want to place her in a place where everybody can see her. And so she may stand here where I am. Uh, Please lead us in the reading. Brother, this is what she has told me. She has said she read the text last night and she has memorized it. She wants to say it from the heart. Many of you have seen her read with Braille, which is very, very important. But let her read from her heart. Follow from your Bible. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is Choncho Jessica, uh, 16 years old, in P6 class. I study from Home High School, Junior Kabale District. Our reading of today is taken from the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, starting from verse 1 up to verse 24. Okutonza kwa Yeremia eshura ya kashatu okutandikira mushorongo gwa yogo kubanza kuisa agwa bilinina Omutwe gwe bigambo ni gujira guti amasko agusayuni ayine ahabgemba baziza ruhanga Ninye muntoli owabona bonesi bge enkoniye chinigache Akambinga yampisa omumwirima ahatine kweza kona uzimazima akagumana mbanjira omukono bulikanya garugaho bwira omubiri gwanje na ruhugwago abihwerize namagufa ganje yagahendagura angosire yanshweka obusharizi no kubona abona yantuza omumwirima nkabafire ira Yantuza omungiri manka bafire ira. Ankubise orugo na abge choti ndi kubasa kucha yande yambohesa enjejere zile mire. Nobundi kwe tankataka tali kuenda kulira okushaba kwanje. 
emihanda yanje ajitise amabale gabizire no twanda twanje atukikamize Amberi renke ndubu engwerire kandi nkentale eyesherekire antishire omumuhanda antishire omumuhanda ya yantanyagura yampindura enshobegwa ananywire obuta yampindura ekimashu cyo mwambigwe emyambi yo mutanagwe ajimalire omutima gwanje pindukire eco kushobegwa omwihanga ryanje nibanye shongora izo bajyona anyi 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 juize obusharizi yanyi gusya aposto omutima gwanje gubuzigwe obusinje naye bwanko ku okshemeregwa kushusha omutima gwanje gutura ni gubyijuka gwe inamirire omunda yanje konka ekinni nchijuka nahabwe cyo nyine amasko imbaba zizamukama tiziwaho no kusasira kwe kugumaho ebiro byona buri kasheshe zibansya obwesi gwabwe ni bwinji omutima gwanje ni gugira guti mukama ni wo mugabo gwanje nicyo ndi mugiriraho amasko eceka kite cyabashomegwa aho niho cyagarukira and then thank you for the hand clap and bishop who want to challenge the other readers to try it also he says i have hidden your word in my heart that i may not sin against the lord thank you bishop mukama simwe kasere rango mu ngara we kigambo ke ekiguma kirikisya obutosha mahoro mushoke cyo umuntu akagira kushoberwa yarimbagirwa ko kabwa nyuma ruhanga ya mwishka moreke mbabazi kandi cyo nicyo cyo kutoreka simu yaitu amatsuko agaruko kurata obusasi narwa buryo mbusasi kugumuye namatsuko hope beyond affliction mukama simu mnongo Mwere hati katugumiza muno kuramya areke shongoro kirungi mulonga ekikwaye ruza kutushongorera abo kwa kabanyankore tugire ngo mwene ntsi master ruhanga kureka no kumugambira ngo ntukuramya mukama ruhanga tatete umwana no moyo rukwera that song is on page 94 and it only says let us praise our God, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Father, for all the blessings that He has showered upon our lives. We shall keep seated, but I request the choir to sing that particular hymn uh, that has been uh, locally composed, but very, very critical in our lives. Mukamba Simwe, Karekaturiche Shungrecho, Choir. Due to his humanity, though a big chief, he used to carry his own luggage instead of giving it to the servants. He also used to fast and make mortifications. He is the patron for chiefs and families. Now, we cannot make any other discussions, but concentrate on the procession of the bishops and other clergy that we can't. We can't have him. We shall have Honorable Mujuche towards the end of Mass because he has a lot to tell us. Yes, towards the end of Mass. He has a lot to tell us. We thank you so much for watching.
also have Bukedri here covering uh, TV West and other uh, TV stations and we are so gr gr grateful to you not only for coming today but also for how you have covered this function even prior to the D-Day. So thank you very much. Your grace uh, the good news is that our chief guest is already here and in a moment we shall know who that one is and even uh, the guests uh, with whom the chief has come. We also have dignitaries from uh, all over the country and in the right moment we shall receive and introduce them to you, beloved. Now let me take this opportunity and invite one of us Right Reverend Dan Zoreka to share with us the word of God from the New Testament. Dan Zoreka, the Bishop of Kinkizi Diocese, or Diocese of Kinkizi. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Our New Testament reading today is from the Revelation to John, chapter 7, and we are reading from verse 9. Revelation to John, chapter 7. We are reading from verse 9. I'm reading from the Hore Bible, English Standard Version. After this, I looked and behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders, and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever. 
and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these clothed in white robes and
Lord, claim the Savior in our words and deeds. Let's pray to Him, He'll answer all our needs. We are His chosen rest, His messengers of hope. Let's spread His love to the world. You are baptized and sent to witness Christ with love and hope. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Go forth to all the ends of the earth. Be strong and firm in faith, like the Uganda martyrs. Uganda martyrs, it's a for us. We pray, raise our faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you are a prayer of hope. Our sins are in In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, pilgrims who have come to Namugongo to celebrate the Martyr's Day, I welcome you all. Let us entrust ourselves to the Uganda martyrs to change our lives so that we may truly witness the Lord Jesus in faith, love, and charity, in hope. As we begin this Mass, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. I confess, the Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets 
who were before you. This is the gospel of Christ. Let me request that you resume your seat. Glory be to God. We really are here to thank God and praise Him so much for His blessings. Baby, can I request that you turn to your neighbor? You may not shake hands, but turn to your neighbor and say, Welcome, I love you. How are you? Uh, you look good. We receive you in the spirit of revival. We thank God. Praise be to God. You can use any language to share a moment with your neighbor. Come and see me. Oh, blessed be unto the Lord for his wonderful blessings uh, today. So now in that mood, I shall again request the choir to stand and sing uh, that wonderful Song, all of us as Christians, we thank the Lord Jesus. Please, choir, sing that beautiful hymn. Now, I want to remind us, beloved, that singing is part and parcel of our Christian ethos. Christian is sing, and it is the core. Uh, area that leads us to you know having a moment with God. We commune with God through singing. We praise him, we worship him. So as these songs are sung remember we are here to give glory to God. Please choir. Oh God. 
Lord, who have made the blood of martyrs, the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field, which is your church, watered by the blood, shed by the saints Charles Luang and his companions, may be fat and always yield you an abundant harvest. Follow Jesus Christ, your Son, this and this within of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. In those days, it happened that seven brothers and their mothers were arrested and were being compelled by the king under torture with whips and cords to partake of unlawful swine's flesh. One of them, acting as the spokesman, said, What do you intend to ask? and learn from us. For we are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our fathers. And when the second brother was at his last breath, he said, You accused wretch, you dismiss us from this present life, but the king of the universe will raise us up and everlasting renew of life because we have died for his laws. After him, the third was the victim of their sport. When it was demanded, he quickly put out his tongue and courageously stretched forth his hands and said nobly, I got this from heaven and because of his laws, I disdain them, and from him I hope to get them back again. As a result, the king himself and those with him were astonished at the young man's spirit, for he regarded his suffering as nothing. When he too had died, they maltreated and tortured the fourth in the same way. And when he was near death, he said, One cannot but choose to die at the hands of men and to cherish the hope that God gives of being raised again by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord. So in that spirit, ladies and gentlemen, shall we all stand and remember our sister who passed on as a pilgrim this time round.
Holy and mighty Father, we thank you for our sister, the late now, who passed on as she approached this place. We lift unto you her family. We lift unto you her husband, her children, and the church from which she came. As Western Colleges, we ache as we remember her walking with the rest of the team. But she never made it to this moment. But Lord, we thank you for her courage, a demonstration of zealous faith. We thank you for her unstoppable zeal. We thank you for her resilience and enthusiasm. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will comfort her family and soothe her children and husband. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Take your seats, beloved. Now, I would like to, uh, for the sake of time management, I'm going to invite the Dean of the Province of the Church of Uganda to make some announcements and introduce the House of Bishops here. And then, when he has done that important bit, we shall invite His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugalu, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, to come over and receive our guest of order and other important guests here. We all are important, but some are more important than others. And so, <laughs> uh, in that regard and context, I salute our beloved guests, all of you. And so let us walk in that manner. I now call upon the Dean of the Province of the Church of Uganda, to introduce the House of Bishops here and our wives, and then we shall move. But once again, thank you very much. We have the Boys and Girls Brigade Band right here. We have Praise Worship. We have Police Band. You've done it very well. You are yet to hear how beautiful their music is. Uh, their orchestra is like second to none, and we shall hear them. So beloved Dean. Thank you, Bishop Johnson. Our guest of honor, the Vice President, his grace will be coming to welcome you and all distinguished guests present. But the task given to me is to introduce to you the House of Bishops, the bishops present here. God is good and all the time. Mukama Murungi, Echsera Chona, Engalon Endureza Mukama, Mukama Yeba Zwe. To San Yusenyo, Okwalava Mwena, Bemuze, Oruna Kuruadero, Kuruna Kuruno, Orukuru, Retujo Kirako, Abajuliziba Fe, Amanya Gange. Bishop James William Sebagala, Omulabirizi Wobulabirizi Bwe Mukono. 
Orunakuruwa lero nga zedin Uobula bilizi Uobusabala bilizi Today I'm the dean of the province Of the church of Uganda Allow me to introduce to you Our dear Archbishop the most reverend Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugaru. Nakuwa sabi ngalu muzongere mwezo tizimala sabala bidizi. Mukama yeva zibwe. Also with us, we have the host bishop, the bishop of Namirembe, right reverend Wilberforce Kazimba. Chitiolu Wadira. Also, in this wonderful place, we have the chairman of Matters Museum Committee, who is behind all the developments here, the Right Reverend Jackson Matovu the retired Bishop of Central Buganda. <laughs> Along with us here, we have the guest preacher, but that one, His Grace, will be welcoming him. We have a number of bishops with us here who have traveled all the way to this place. And almost all the bishops have come. Allow me to introduce to you the Bishop of North Karamoja, Right Reverend James Nasaka, is with us here. The Bishop of Northern Uganda, Right Reverend Godfrey Laum. The Bishop of Kinkizi is with us here. The Right Reverend Dan Zoreka and Mama Flora are with us here. The Bishop of South Renzori, the Right Reverend Nelson Baluku is with us. Nengalo Muzongere Yongere Mbanangi. Abantu wano wata ambudoru gendo luwamfu nyo. Norenso unge utu waga lukufa niliza. Nengaleza amanyi. The Bishop of Lango Diocese. The Right Reverend Professor Alfred Ra is with us. We have the Bishop of Kumi Diocese. The Right Reverend Michael Okui. We have the Bishop of Ankole, who is behind this organization here, the Right Reverend Sheldon Mwesigwa. We also have the Bishop of Masindi Chitara Diocese, the Right Reverend Georgi Kasangachi. We have the Bishop of North Mbale, the Right Reverend Samuel Jidudu. We have the Bishop of Bukhead Diocese, the Right Reverend Samuel Egesa. We have the Bishop of Sebe Diocese, the Right Reverend Kipto Masaba. We have the Bishop of Soroti Diocese, the Right Reverend Kosea and Mama Grace Odongo. We have the Bishop, the retired Bishop of Mitiana, the Right Reverend Dr. Dunstan and Mama Phoebe, Canon Phoebe. Bukenya. 
we have the bishop of Chigezi, our baby, the right reverend Gadi Akajunjuna. With us, we have the Bishop of Kitigum, the Right Reverend Wilson Kitala. We have the Bishop of North Chigezi, who is now a caretaker, the Right Reverend Patrick Tugumi. We have the Bishop of North Ankole, the Right Reverend Stephen Namanya. We have the retired Bishop of Central Buganda, the Right Reverend Dr. George and Mama Edisa Senabulia. We also have the retired Bishop West, Western Cole, the Reverend, retired Reverend, Right Reverend Yona Katonini, and Mama Elvida Katonini. We have the Assistant Bishop of Kampala Diocese, the Right Reverend Dr. Huntington, and Mama Mtebi. We have the Bishop of Mbale Diocese, the Right Reverend John Wilson Nanda. We have the Bishop of Ruero Diocese, the Right Reverend Eridadi. Your Excellency, the Pope Nuncio to Uganda, Luigi Bianco, Your Graces, the Archbishops, my brother bishops, my brother priests, religious men and women, the Right Honorable Prime Minister Robina Nabanja, representing the President of the Republic of Uganda, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, Right Honorable Speaker, members of the, the ministers, leaders of the opposition, the members of parliament, chief justice, the principal judges, and all of you, my brothers and sisters in respective capacities. Dear pilgrims, we have come from near and far, those who have come on foot and all other means. I will come you once again to these holy grounds of the Uganda Matters of Uganda Namugongo. In the first place, I invite you to praise and thank the Lord who has enabled us to come in such big numbers. The last two years, we could not come as today because of COVID restrictions. Here we are to praise and thank the Lord on this pilgrimage of this year, 2020. We praise and thank the Lord for his goodness to us all. We praise the Lord for the gift of these martyrs, the heroes of our faith. Let us ponder on the word of the Lord read to us in light of the theme, Baptizing and Saint Witness Christ with Love and Hope. In the first reading from the book of Maccabees, the second one, we have heard how the seven brothers 
and their mother encouraged each other to stand firm for their faith. They refused to give in to eating pork, which was forbidden by the faith of their ancestors, the Jews. They opted to suffer, be tortured, and die rather than break the laws of their ancestors. But they had great hope in the life of the resurrection, as one stated. One cannot but choose to die at the hands of man and cherish the hope that God gives of being raised again by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The martyrs of Uganda, though they had received the faith in a very short time, were inspired by the word of God as they were baptized and understood the mission of Christ. They too were ready to die for him and not given the threats of Kabaka Mwanga too. They knew there was life of the resurrection where they could meet Christ their true king. They had a hope which the Lord says in the gospel we had Unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. And the Lord goes on to say, whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it to eternal life. In light of the martyr's death, Tertullian, one of the early church fathers, says it well. The blood of martyrs is the seed of Christians. As Ugandans, we cherish the faith of the Uganda martyrs who died in Christ and their blood relationship we have with them, being our relatives from our own clans. For instance, the people of Fort Porto Diocese are proud of having their own St. Adolf Rodrigo Tbelirwa Mukasa Abwoli who hails from Katosa Parish in the small village of Mary. He was a Mugaya by clan, and his relatives are still living even today. He was abducted by the slave traders and brought to Kabaka's palace, where he embraced the Catholic faith brought by Father Lodell, along with the other pages who served in Kabaka's palace. He used to assist Andrew Kagwa in splitting firewood as the wife was preparing food for catechumens at Chugoa when they were being given Christian instructions or being given Mugigi classes. The 21 martyrs who died for the faith, said Adolf, and even the Anglican, of the Anglican faith, were inspired by the Holy Spirit who empowered the apostles at Pentecost, as read in Acts chapter 2, the same Holy Spirit they received was at work in them. He gave them the gifts of wisdom, courage, and others to stand firmly for the faith in Christ Jesus. As Christians today who have been baptized, what can we learn from these martyrs we are celebrating today? What lessons can we draw for ourselves, for our own lives? First is obedience to God's Ten Commandments, which are summarized in one commandment of love of God and neighbor. St. Paul, writing to the Romans, says, as we heard in the second reading, For I am convinced neither death nor life no angels, no principalities, no present things, no future things, no powers, no height, no depth, no any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Among those, he also mentions the sword, persecutions. In other words, nothing will separate us from the love of Christ, even persecutions. We see in the love of God in the martyrs of Uganda, showing the following examples, which are meant to teach us as well. I first speak of St. Charles Luanga. St. Charles Luanga 
had totally parted from worshipping of the Balobale, the gods of the Baganda, and the use of witchcraft. He had burnt all these amulets, the Mayembe, the Irizi, and so on, and all that goes with them. He encouraged the other martyrs to do the same. For example, Saint Javira Musoke, whose father was well known as a famous witch doctor. Even the name Javira was depicting the fact that he comes from where they practice witchcraft in a very high degree. And his father was feared for that, and so was the son. So when these, so when these became Christians, they dealt away with the worship of traditional beliefs and embraced the worship of the one true God of Jesus Christ. It is a pity today some Christians still go to witch doctors and use witchcraft. You find them at mass today on Sunday and the course of the weekdays when they have problems of sickness or looking for wealth and riches, they go to witch doctors. Let us not be double dealers in our faith. Let us learn from the martyrs. Turn away from witchcraft totally. Let us adore the one true Lord and God and love him above all and not be double dealers. Let us entrust our lives and that of our children to the one God and our creator. Secondly, I want to talk about Saint Joseph Balikudembe, the first martyr who was killed on the 15th of November, 1885. He pleaded with Kabaka Mwanga not to kill Bishop Huntington of the Anglican faith of the Church Missionary Society, who was coming from the eastern side of his kingdom, that is of Busoga. That was seen by Kabaka as bringing bad omen or misfortune to his kingdom. He went ahead and killed him. Due to that, Kabaka Mwanga, in turn, had Joseph Balikudembe killed at Nakivuvo near Owino Market. St. Joseph Balikudembe is known as a patron of politicians. We have many lessons to learn from him, outstanding the virtue of justice and pleading to save life. The question is, how do we respect human life? Are we involved in cases of murder? What of those who take the lives of the unborn through abortion? How are we standing for justice for the oppressed in any way? How about those who may be imprisoned unjustly? Thirdly, I want to look at St. Denis Serugao, who used to serve in the inner court of the Kabaka, he was young, and the king made homosexual advances towards him. To those, Dennis totally objected, preserving the virtue of chastity and purity. For this, Kabaka speared him himself out of anger and rage near Munyonyo, not far from the Mena Basilica of Munyonyo. The Kabaka did not only make advances to Dennis, but even to the young ones like Kizito, Javira, Mugaga, and others. They refused well understanding that breaking the Sixth Commandment would be a violation of the virtue of purity and chastity. So they never gave in to his sexual appetite, but opted to die for being the true king and master, the Lord Jesus Christ. Kabak ordered that they be put to death. You know this, Charles Luanga was their leader and good example. He tried to keep these young ones, keep giving them other chores from the palace to keep them out of harm's way of the king. Here we find a number of lessons for us today, especially here in Uganda. During the COVID-19 lockdown, over 600,000 girls, 
sub over half a million were defiled, put under pregnancy in this country. Some of this was done by their own relatives. And this is a case of incest. This is exposing the rot which we have in our own families. There are many cases of sexual abuses in schools, including high institutions of learning, where teachers make advances students for the sake of marks. There's sexual harassment in workplaces and so on. The high prevalence of HIV AIDS being so high in this country, still 6.5%, and being high in some regions of Uganda, the cases of unfaithfulness among married couples having the so-called said dishes, all this tells us we are not doing well as regards keeping the sixth commandment. The Lord is calling us to repent and learn from the Uganda matters to strive for purity and strive for chastity. The fourth example I talk about is Saint Bruno Serunkuma was a son of Pokino, one of the county chiefs. He was stubborn, easy to get angry, and was involved in sexual immorality, and was fond of drinking local beer. Once taught Christian faith and got baptized, he became a changed man. However, even after being baptized, Kabaka appreciating his good services in the palace, gave him two beautiful girls as a reward. Without thinking much, he started to live with them in his house. Fortunately, Charles Luanga and Andrew Kagwa, at the catechist, counseled him. They even invited Father Lodell to hear his confession, and he totally broke away from these relationships. He moved from his house and started living in a small hut near the palace. He, consecrate, he concentrated in deep prayer and fasting as a way of true repentance. When he was going to be burnt here at Namgongo, he cried of thirst to his brother Bosa, who offered him some beer. He declined the offer. He remembered Christ on the cross and told his brother Bosa, a fountain issued for many springs never dries up. We shall disappear, but others will replace us. Because Saint Bruno Serunkuma, rejecting beer towards his death, is known as the patron of temperance, that is, those who are struggling to overcome excessive use of alcoholic drinks including drugs. Considering this virtue of temperance, we find it lacking in many of us Ugandans today. Uganda is the leading country in the use of alcohol in East Africa. It's number one. The seventh in Africa. Then that a shame? As a consequence, we have many problems which include domestic violence, chronic poverty, and other related health problems, some of which are mental. You just need to go to Butabek Hospital and you'll see what is happening there. These are also, among, and this is seen among the youth who are being taken up by excessive use of drinks, including drugs. Let us seek the intercession of St. Bruno Tsurunkuma, and as we guide the youth to break from peer groups which are destructive to their lives, to change their lifestyle of being redundant, lazy, and being idle. Those of us struggling to overcome the weakness in the use of alcoholic drinks and drugs, especially among the youth, let us turn to St. Bruno Tsurunkuma, he may be our model, a great example. But also let us ready to embrace manual work, practical skills which may help us to come away from the streets 
looking for white collar jobs which are not there. I'll speak of the fifth example of Saint Matia Mulumba. He hailed from Busoga. He was one of the chiefs of Kabaka in Buganda. He had many waves, but when he became a Christian at the age of 50, he had to part away with all the other waves and remain with one following the teaching of Christ of monogamy. He remained faithful to her till his death. As such, is known as the patron of families. Let all the married couples learn and follow the example of this saint, Matia Mulumba. Besides those outstanding virtues I have mentioned, the martyrs were always moved by the word of God, what they, taught, what they were taught by the white fathers, and shared among themselves, even among very hard conditions of threats of the Kabaka and other chiefs were not for them. For instance, they would teach the faith at night after 10 p.m. when Kabaka and his chiefs had gone to bed. They would secretly move under the cover of darkness from Mengo to Nalkolongo and to other places to learn their faith, being careful not to be caught. When the faith fathers, when the white fathers had withdrawn from Buganda to Tanzania, the martyrs would go by boat across Lake Victoria to go and learn more about the faith. They would return and share among themselves what they had picked from the missionaries. As a matter of fact, during the absence of the missionaries, the number of catechumens increased much more. This was possible because the martyrs were well organized and had unity of purpose and focus on the Lord and his mission. They remained united, not to allow others to be misled by other faiths. As they were dying, they had a spirit of forgiveness and prayer for their persecutors. It is said by one of the eyewitnesses, Dennis Chamucha, the executioners were hard talking among themselves. We have put many people to death, but never have seen such as these. On other occasions, the victims did nothing but mourn and weep. But the Christians were wonderful. There, were, there was no sigh, not even an angry word. All that was heard was soft murmurs in their lips. They prayed until they died. As we celebrate these heroes of our faith, the Uganda martyrs, let us realize that all of them were lay people. There was no priest. But they were guided and supported by the few missionary priests of the White Fathers to be able to die for the faith. The White Fathers were very committed to the mission of the Lord and were very available to these martyrs. It's a big lesson for us as bishops, priests, and religious to strive to be more available to the majority of the people who are entrusted to our pastoral care. Often we hear the complaint, I'm very busy, I have no time. You ask the question, busy with what? When you analyze, you'll find that maybe the priest or the religious is just busy with personal projects or personal affairs which have nothing to do with the ministry of the service of God's people. My brother, priests and religious, let us avail ourselves the laity. First, the youth, the children in our care, by guiding them through like movements like the Zavirian Movement, YCS, Jesus Youth, Kizuto, Junior Legion of Mary, the Pioneer Association, and so on. When sometimes you visit some Catholic-founded schools, you find that none of these movements exist but just concentrating on the academics, which is not bad, but the faith is not being attended to. And these movements are not known. Let us promote adult movements like Kana, Catholic Women Apostolate, Catholic Men Association, 
Catholic charismatic renewal, and so on. Let us know that when our laity are empowered in their faith and their families to live the faith, then they can witness to Christ more and bear more fruit in their lives. As we celebrate these heroes of our faith, we have many challenges around us. For example, the high prices of commodities, being jobless, having sick people in our families, some of whom may be the elderly, we not give up or despair with life, but we need to trust the Lord who is with us. He told the disciples, all power in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always till the end of time. We find that in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. We are not alone. The Lord is with us as he was with the martyrs in their challenges. The Lord is with us in the gift of our brothers and sisters. He is with us in his word. He is with us in the sacraments, especially the Eucharist. He invites us to come to him as he says, come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I'll give you rest. As read in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. We shall be able to overcome all these challenges and difficulties around us with the help from the Lord. Here in is an element of dying to ourselves, to sin, to striving to live a true repentant and striving for holiness. Let us learn from these martyrs. They had great faith and trust and hope in the Lord. That is why they were able to succeed we too shall make it day by day. Let us remember our life here on earth is short-lived. It is transitional. It is the life of the resurrection which the Lord promised to his disciples when he said, whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it to eternal life. For the Lord now said, we shall do greatly as St. Paul tells us. We pray in this mass in the session of these martyrs and the Blessed Mother, Mary, the Queen of Martyrs, that we may deepen our trust and love for the Lord Jesus, his word, and allow the Holy Spirit, as we're about to celebrate the solemnity of Pentecost, just one day after tomorrow, to guide us to strive to witness to our faith, starting from within our families, our communities, places of work, and everywhere. Baptized and sent witness with Christ, baptized and sent witness Christ with love and hope. The Lord be with you. Now we will listen to a summary of the bishop's homily in Rwanda. Father J.B. Kaganda.
As we stand, not shy, Mirite. I'll ask my wife, Canon Mrs. Agatha Maluda, Asaba Muchara, we Canon Agatha Maluda, to read a passage, Asomech Tundu, and then she prays for us. Era at Sabide. The reading comes from the first letter of Peter, chapter 3. Verses 13 to 17. First Peter, the first letter of Peter, chapter 3. Verse 13 to 17. Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear. Do not be frightened. But in your heart, set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. It is better if it is God's will to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this day that you have set apart, that we can come and celebrate the faith of our sisters and brothers who went before. We want to thank you for your servant, Bishop Samson, whom, Lord, you have appointed so that he can bring the word to your people. I pray, dear Lord, that when he opens his mouth, you may fill him with words from you. Speak to each one of us. We have come from different corners of this country and some of us from outside this country. But Lord, we pray that you may speak to us so that we may leave this place more energized to speak about your gospel to speak about the transforming power of Jesus Christ and to testify about the great things that you have done in our lives. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Era, aniana abakora angobu vivi muna anyikiri angobu runji. Na ene wangu vade, ngamubo nyabu nyezewa, orobu tu kilivu, morino mukisa. Temuti anga kutisa kwa abwe, era, temuera liikiri ranga. Na ye, mutu kuzenga kwisto mumetima jamwe, okuwera mukama wamwe, ngamwete kate kabuli jo, okuda mubuli muntu, okubuza ange nsonge yokusubiro okuli mumwe. Na ye nobu wombefu no kutia. Mubeirenga no mo yomuru unji. Mubana haba fumanga. Haba haba wogira kobu bi. Oru empisa za mwenunyi mkristo. Bari okiba kuati wenge nsonyi. Kubanga chichisingo oburu unji. Okubonya abo nyeziburu kukoro oburu unji. Bwe kuba nga kwe kwa gara kwa katonda. Okusingo okubonya abo nyeziburu. Oru okukoro oburu bi. Your Excellences, Abebitibwa, Honorable Ministers who have come, Abakungu, Abazemwena, Your Grace, the Archbishop of this land, Mukade wa Fesaba Rabirizi, Owekanisaya Uganda, My brother Bishops, Baganda Banga Rabirizi, and especially the Chair of the Greater Ankole Diocese, Nayok Singer Dara Saint Tebe, Akurembe Demwa Rabirizi, Abebe Ndobe Ndiri Ankole, 
I'm indeed thankful and humble to receive an invitation to be the guest preacher this morning. My wife Agatha and I bring you lots of greetings from Kenya. Especially from my successor. Uh, bishop Liverson Mungonda, the Dyson Bishop of Teta Taveta, whom I handed over the mantle. Yes. And my brothers and sisters in the Lord, especially in the fellowship of the Tukhtendreza, who are praying for us while we are here. Who are you, Bishop? Who are you? Gwani. I am Samson Maktaba Maluda. Bishop Dr. Samson Maluda. A sinner saved by God's grace. From the year 1965, when I prayed a very childlike prayer. When I saved Sarah Mumuako Gurkumuenda Mu. Childlike prayer. 1965. And I, and I prayed. Yasaba. Jesus Christ. Yes, Christo. If you can come into the life of a 14 year boy, promising to keep and sustain him. I am I, here I am. Mzuno. Come into my life and be my savior. And Lord. This resulted in me something very strange. A kind of a burden from my heart lifted away. Leaving me a very joyous peace. And so light to want to say something about Christ. To tell my brothers and sisters that Jesus is Lord. That journey started. I'm 55 years in that journey. Still a, a sinner. Who is forgiven, justified, still being sanctified, longing to be transformed more into the Christ like image, and with great hope of eternal life with Jesus Christ. And so, my favorite song is this. And many of you know it. He saves, he keeps, he satisfies this wonderful Savior of mine. Someday I will meet him in the skies, this wonderful Savior of mine. Mtendereza. Tukutendereza. Mkama isi mwe. Mkama yeba zibwe. Mkama yeba zibwe. Praise the Lord. Mwana asifiwe. Mkama yeba zibwe. Brothers and sisters. Aboru ganda. Paganda wangeneva nyinaze. My heart was warmed. Omutima gwange guafu na akabugumu. By the prayer all of us prayed. Owe sara. Fenaje tuwa saba. And uh, the Uganda matters collect. In page 93. If you have that book, please refer it with me. Page 93. We prayed. We prayed. Almighty God. By whose grace and power your holy matters triumphed, triumphed over suffering and were faithful. Even unto death. And see what we are praying. 
Notice what we are praying now. Grant us to way. Now remember, as we remember them with thanksgiving. Grant us to way. To be faithful in our witness to you in this world. To be witness, faithful witness in this world. My friends, I would like by your grace and all those in attendance please allow me to share what I think is the message for us of all this morning under the, under the subject Uganda matters spirituality for faithful witness in the church and society. Uganda matters spirituality for faithful witness in the church but also in the society. My task to try and help see and remember the Uganda matters not just for honoring them not just for remembering them but primary learning from them get the challenge and get the inspiration and the inspiration to notice some of the pillars of their spirituality which we can put in practice to enhance our faithfulness our faithful Christian witness to witness not only in the church but in our societies in, our, in, 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 in the marketplace in my, our offices in the government offices in the businesses we just want to know what were they that were so faithful and what can we learn from them? So as we pray, God to inspire us, we know exactly what we are talking about. Now who is a matter? Who is a matter? Of course the definition given is a person who is put to death or endures great suffering because of his belief. Praise the Lord. Yes. We may not literally die. However, faithful Christian witness may at times demand standing for what we believe Whatever, whatever the measure of bitter and demanded by the occasion. If, if this bitter end is short of literal death, but momentary suffering, for our faith we may, we may indeed serve we may indeed serve as potential matters potential matters potential matters now let me try to, to say something about matters and Christian witness. For those who are the students of theology, we will remember 
that the noun matter nti ekigambe echo omujulizi the greek word matus ekigambe echo muliona ni ekiitibwa matus has the same root kirina ebigambo musibuko with the word witness ne ekigambo bujulirwa when jesus christ was telling uh, his followers yesu yali agamba abamugoberera abagoberezibe be witnesses of these things timubere bajulirwa be bigambo bino be witnesses mubere bajulirwa be matus of this of the of this thing mube bajulirwa be bigambo bino bajulizibe bigambo bino so there's a lot of closeness between matters and witness waliwo entabagana eriwo wakati wo mujulizi no mujulirwa why Duachi. because our role as christians kubanga obuvunanyizwa bwa fenga ba kristayo is to go out kwe kugende bweru and be witnesses of the gospel injiri be witnesses of, of the, the word of crow of god netubera abajulirwa be chigambo cha katonda of course as ambassadors na yera nga ababaka we get this in second corinthians 520 bino tubisanga mu barwa ya petero yapaule yokubiri abakorinso to shine the light of christ tubere ekitangala cha kristo to be the salt tubero munyu all this is a, a, a tall task mungeri yonna esoboka and when we are trying to do that eranga tukole echo to be faithful witnesses to bere abajulirwa abesigwa wa ya magero we might be walking against the the, the wrong tide the, the tide tuizo kubanga mukutambula kwa fetusi sinkane jengo the world may not be that faithful to christ and see is obuta banesigwa eri christo those in offices may not be that faithful to christ aba bali mu yafes mayizo obuta babesigwa eri christo those who are in the universities may not be interested in being of being faithful to christ aba bali mu masetende kero bayizo obuta babesigwa eri christo i know the life in a secular university I know the life in an, in a in a in an a secular university. Many obulamu obokubera ngo somera mu setende kero atali ku musingi gwa kanisa. How it was very difficult to stand tall to witness to Christ. Chambere na chizibu nyo kuyimirira njulire Kristo. And so no when songe yo when you are going against the current boba os os joraga osinkane jengo. It can cause a lot of friction. Kizo kuleta waka kubagano a lot of opposition okuwakanyizibwa but i want to uh, i want to believe with you brothers and sisters nenja la kukiriza mumwe baganda bange ne banyinaze once we grasp those pillars of uganda matters spirituality ntenoneze za abajulizi ba uganda ezobulamu bwabo obwomo ebo tuzinywererako whatever suffering whatever challenges that you meet kembera yonna enyigirize tulugunya joyizo kusisinkana normally it is it is shorter than actually facing death chizo kube chimpimpi bobo chigeragere nyiza nokufa so if we practice these pillars kale bwo kutambulira kunono zino oh we shall be a force to reckon with kale tunalwanagana nazo we shall grow a faithful christian church tujakula obulamu bwa fenga ekanisa we shall grow faithful young people who are faithful to jesus christ tujakulera abavubuka ngabesigwa eri mukama wa fe yesu kristo we shall build a church tujakuzimba ekanisa ye which as it were ngabwe chali will contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints tujakunyweze ebyo we see this in Jude uh, verse 3. Bino tubisanga mu barua ya Yuda esure yokusatu. Paul is telling the church. Paul agamba ekanisa. Ek, uh, the, the, the writer exhorting the church. Nti nga ajiza mu amanyi to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to the saints. Banywerere kwebye byagwebwa ababa tukuvu. Now here are examples wanwaliwe byokulabirako o brothers and sisters who died on this soil eliabo oluganda baganda bafa bajuliza abafira kutakalino contending for the faith bayimirira olokukiriza not giving it up at any cost nebata nebata kiranya kachibechi i went to the site there to the museum yatu sewali awali ekadizo and time and again i'll hold back my tears ne nafuba okweziza amazigo obutakulukuta when they are being tied and judged engeri jebasibwa 
taken to an isolated place to think about it some of them continue to be suffering given the opportunities to, de, de, to, 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 to desert their faith but then they still waited for the worst to happen to them oh, they still waited for the worst to happen to them what a courage what was, the, what, what, was, what was in them what were these pillars of their spirituality please observe the five pillars of their spirituality that I have studied turn to your neighbor and tell him oh, her, look at the five, five fingers five fingers five fingers as you go home as you look for at, at these five fingers they should remind you of the five pillars of five, five pillars or five values of Uganda matters spirituality I don't want to go to all the matters in history. All, all the matters in all the New Testament. That was taking almost the whole uh, term in my, in my theological college. Allow me to zero in to only Uganda Christian matters. Five pillars of their spirituality. Pillar number one. God is sovereign king. God is sovereign king. You see? That's why the ultimate obedience was to God. Not to Kabaka Mwanga the second. So see, Kabaka Mwanga, oh, Kubiri. Eh, that irritated the king. Echo Chani is a Kabaka. What? Chichi? Your God is king. Katonda wa Matana ye Kabaka. Where do I stand here? Katio Ronsemba, it's for Changa Shirua. Eh, he was very annoyed. Yari Muni Vunyo. Eh, he was very annoyed. Yari Akambuade. So the Christians, the boys there looked like rebels. Kakati. And he ordered his execution through burning in Namugongo here on 3rd. 1886. Friends, what a challenge to us today. When many have developed a sort of um, synchristic faith which, which mixes uh, two things at the same time to pay allegiance to some traditional beliefs or, or some secular philosophy and still want to pay uh, allegiance to Jesus Christ. So people begin changing places. When in the, I'm in the village, I'll listen to what uh, the tradition says. If they tell me fear the witchcraft, I fear. If they say uh, we are enemies to that tribe, I, I follow. But when I'm in the church in Kampala, Jesus, when I'm walking in the church, I, I bow like a, a, a very respectful Anglican. That was not true with Uganda matters. 
God is king. Katonda yeka yekabaka. He is one who I owe our ultimate allegiance. Ye yeka gwengwani de ngondere. So in other words, they became great agents of the answer to our daily prayer. Answer to our daily prayer. When we pray, thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Why? They knew God is their king. He is the one who will rule over their lives in their day-to-day -day life. You can, that, uh, that prayer cannot be answered when we keep the allegiances when I am in the village I don't pray that the kingdom come for them God was king sovereign king second pillar death is a gate into glorious eternity Death is a gate into glorious eternity. For Uganda matters. And for faithful Christians. Death is only a promotion into glorious eternity with the Lord Jesus. The joy of meeting our Savior Jesus Christ face to face for, for the Uganda matters it was worth the risk. It was worth paying the cost. So you see those young men when Kabaka Manga asked them as converts to reject their new faith or face execution on a day like this. June 3rd, 1886, with the courage of vigor the young men between the ages of 15 and 33 we read this they chose to be killed rather than reject their faith listen, listen, listen in order to go to heaven to be with their Lord to see Jesus face to face that, that was their pillar so death didn't carry that strong sting it was a gate I had stories inside there one of the relatives of the person who was judging was asked aren't you changing your mind one of them said you are delaying me from seeing my lord you are, de you are delaying you should have done this like yesterday so, so I can see him face to face ah, my friend Aboruganda. Very different from us today. When you feel as if you are, you are dying, you die even before the death comes. You cry. You begin thinking about your houses. Oh, my retirement home. Oh, 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 my children, my grandchildren. For the Uganda matters. They were thinking of seeing their Lord face to face. It reminds of... Uh, the first matter in the scripture. Stephen in Acts chapter 7. In the face of death. 
we read this tusoma bino Stephen full of the holy spirit Stefano eyajulo omoyo omtukuvu looked up to heaven and saw the glory of god yatunula waguru nalabe kitibwa cha katonda and jesus standing at the right hand of god ga yesu kristo ayimiride ku mukono ogwa dio gwa katonda and he said nagamba look Laba he said nagamba see laba i see heaven open ndabange gururi gudwawo and the son of man is standing at the right hand of god go mwana wo mtu aimide ku mukono ogwa dio gwa katonda while the stones were hitting me wandi bade bali wa mukuba mayinja i'm facing this imminent death ngagendo okutibwa ka kano steven the eyes were open amaso ga stefano gali magufu he saw the glorious eternity yenga araba chitibwa eche kitagwawo with the lord ne mukama wafe with the lord ne yesu and the bible continues era bible yongera ne gamba he died very victoriously ntiyafanga omuzira while they, they were stoning him we bali ga bamukuba mayinja steven prayed Stefano na sava Lord mukama do not hold this sin against them and when he had said this oh he fell asleep nafa he fell asleep nafa yes indeed after the death of Stephen echamazima oluvenyo walwa kufa kwa Stefano the church spread all over ekanisa ne sasana wonna it was the birth of the church kwegali amazali wage kanisa indeed fulfilling era fulfilling onga kutukiriza what you say cheyagamba the blood of matter ntyo musai gwaba julirwa is indeed the seed of the church yensigo ye kanisa so death is a gate into a glorious eternity karo kufa gwe muliango kutusa mula mo butagwawo muguru i wish i could grasp that kare katonda bwanyamba kino ne kitegera when the when the devil should discourage me about to death satan ne wajja tya na kanga kanga ne byo kufa there are times when i've gone through operations walwo we pisa mukurongo sebwa and uh, one time with those lights and 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 doctors who are so uh, with gadgets aba sawo ne bajjanga bali na byo na eh the devil started saying now look here you are dying sani na ngamba tolaba kakati ogenda kufa but i remembered this na yene zikira chino but beyond this if it is death na yokusukuruma wano bwe kuba okufa i will see my lord njakulaba mukama wafe so what is the what is your problem here kakati stani omulimu go wano chichi what is your business here devil okura chi you are defeated owangu dua it don't uh, it don't benefit you techiga techija kugasa if i die bwe mfa is christ ye kristo if i live bwembawo then when i receive an invitation i'll go era we funa kuyitibwa na agenda and here i am era kakati nzuno ndi mulamu after going through some two operations ngapisa mukurongo se we mirundi ebiri brothers abo luganda death will will lose its sting okufa obulumi bwako tebujja kubawo if we can face it and say butukusinkana If it, if it should happen now ndio bachibao kakati is all a get into glorious greater we muliango kugenda mulamo obutagwao pillar number 3 empaje yokusatu indulgence in sinful practice is a disobedience to god and must be resisted okwe kuyenga mu bibi kwe kujemera yesu kwe kujemera katonda did you listen to that mwauli de kitundu indulgence in sinful practice Okwenyigira unewe kulungira mu byono ono mu bibi is disobedience to god bujemu eri katonda disobedience bujemu is it not just go having good time is it not having a good time sikubanga oline kisera ekirungi is it not just joining others in this sikubanga wegata nabalala mu kino it is a disobedience banango obo bujemu and must be resisted era tutako kuchigana hey the king subjects abo abakulemberwa kabaka who are converted into christianity abachu sibwa de bafuka abakristayo we read that they rejected tusoma ntibagana sinful practices including homosexuality ebikorwa ebyekive omuli nebye bisiyaga some of the historical the records say it was tolerated in the king's palace ebimu kubyawandikwe bitu ebyafayo biraga nti this irritated kabaka mwanga even the more kino cha sungu wazanyo kabaka mwanga what a challenge today banange ngatusomozebwa christians sometimes they toil and toy with with the sinful practices abakristayo abamu 
Echibiba chizanyisa Fornication Ngo obwenzi Adultery Obwenzi Corruption Enguzi All kinds of sinful things Ebi vivyo nabiyo yuzo kufumi intidi zako They don't see it as a disobedience Teba chidaba ngo obujemu Not for uh, Uganda matters Na yete chari buwe chitio Eriaba juliziba Uganda And that's why what a challenge to us today when the prevalence of evil practices including sexual immorality looting over public resources through corruption even in Christian nations where majority are Christians and when and when these things are happening those who are not there as I heard some of them people saying now that we have got, uh, we have got uh, political power it is our time to eat it is our time to, to eat but corruption is sin some old men saying now I have got a lot of money it is time to change my wife marry another one because I want to go borrowing I'll take, care, I'll take care of the first one and the third one what is the problem it is disobedience whether well, it is done by high office a rich man a church elder or a bishop like me it is disobedience so the matters opposed and this irritated the king. Much more. That's why the Bible says. Bible ya igiriza. And remain. Uh, and, and sometimes we are reminded. Evil prevail. When the righteous do nothing about it. When the righteous do nothing about it. Hey. Brothers, we are, the Bible state tells us. Submit yourself. Then to God. Resist the devil. And he'll flee from you. James, James, James 4 7. Jacobo. James 4 7. Praise the Lord. Are you still there? Are you still there? We, we continue with pillar number four. Higher. Pillar number four. Injustice is seen before God. Injustice is seen Injustice is seen before God. Now look this, at this. This was one of the pillars of uh, okay, uh, Uganda Christian matters. Uh, remember the story of Joseph Mukasa Bulikudebe. Mujukira Ebiafayo Oborugerua. Joseph Mukasa, Bari Kudembe. He was a senior advisor of the king. Yari Muiwa Magezi Erikavaka. But because of his faith, Nayoroku Kirizakwe. I read he faced the king. So Mantino Yayanga Kabaka. He went to the Kabaka. Namu Tukako. And challenged him. Namu Somoza. For ordering the death of. Uh, Bishop Huntington without a trial. Kabaka, this is wrong. Kabaka, How did you order his killing? Before giving him some hearing. It is injustice. It is sinful. Hey. 
Joseph was arrested. I read he was arrested. In November uh, 15th, 1885, in, in, in Nakivubo, Nakivubo, he was executed. Does this not remind us of our 21st century matter? Of this, of this land of this land of this land his name you know very well yeah, you, know, you know him very well Archbishop Janan Jakalia Luwum after delivering a note of protest to dictator Idi Amin against the policies of arbitrary killing and unexplained disappearance, Archbishop could not stand it. He wrote a note took it to Idi Amin to protest these arbitrary killings, it is not just. I don't know when he was doing that. What a courage. But when I was reading about him, Archbishop Luvum was arrested. Archbishop Janan Luvum was arrested and together with men uh, with others on 17th February 1977 when our archbishop when he was just 50, 55 years old oh, oh, archbishop Lubum. Archbishop Lubum. was shot dead through the mouth and at least three bullets in his chest just because of protesting injustice. That was part of the pillars of uh, 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 Uganda matters. Friends, that is a prophetic ministry which the church is being called to to protest against uh, injustice protest against tribalism in our land protest against uh, rape against injustices in families your Christian parents stand against injustices in the families in your local governments it is our call that was part of the uh, Uganda Christian matters so when we celebrate them today and we pray and we pray, Lord, enable us to follow the example. Have the whole package in you. The last pillar that I noticed. For Uganda Christian matters, Christian life is a life of commitment to Jesus. It was commitment to Jesus Christ. It was not just a convenient. Christianity is not a, a convenience. It's not a club. It's commitment. It is commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey. That's why they were so committed. See the, sta see the stages that were given there before a judge. Please deny your faith and you'll be safe. Say, no, I'm committed. I'm, I'm committed. Hey. 
after judgment. They are taken through some torture. torture beaten. 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 Hey, are you, are you, are you uh, denying? Say no. That's a commitment. In places, some of them were shown, others being hacked. And, and being cut into pieces. Are you seeing this? Your friend is being clubbed. And you're committing apostasy. Deny your faith. No, I'm committed. Oh, I'm committed. My friends, that's a strong pillar. That which will change, it will change our lives. Is not Christianity for convenience. Is Christianity for commitment. For commitment. For commitment. And what happened? How do you get committed? When you say, Lord, now I'm dethroning myself. Take over the seat of my life. Ay, that's commitment. I shall now bow before you. I shall not bow before my de de desires. I shall, not, I shall not bow before any authority. I shall bow before I shall bow before you. Yesterday, uh, I, I got a nice drama. A very courageous girl came. A very courageous lady. My friend, give me your seat. So, <laughs> I started to demonstrate that in our hearts, in our hearts, there is a, a seat of rulership. In our hearts, there's that throne which actually commands your desires, your vision, how you do things. Because there, there are alternatives. You can, I can sit on it myself. And I say to myself, whatever my heart feels like, that is what will happen. I feel like drinking, I'll drink. If I feel I want to quarrel with someone, I'll quarrel. If I want to humanize because I have money and they are available, I do it. If you should ask me, why are you doing this? But it is me. What is your problem? In Israel, I say, come, 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 Mind, mind your own business this, this is me this is the way my education leads me so that one says I will not be committed Aye. but you see Jesus says Knock, knock, knock. I'm knocking at the door. Now sit there. This is this is Jesus. No, this is Samson. Oh, no, Samson. Knock, knock, knock. If anyone opens, I'll come in and revolutionize everything. Yes, he can say, okay. And then he gets out. Kakati, Samson and tells me, Jesus, sit there. And then I sit there. Yesu na Is he going to be out? 
Agenda kufuruma? No, 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 no. He is going to be bowing before me. Nedda no, agenda no. kufuka mira. This is Jesus. Then when I command he will do what I say. Yesu warajira nona agenda kola chibamugambi. Look the direction. Tunule eno. That one. Ono eno. <laughs> Stand up. Yimirira. Look that way. Tunule eno. A life of obedience to Jesus Christ. That is commitment. That is commitment. But there's another scenario. This man, he, he, he begins to behave as if I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't I, I, Jesus, I, you don't. You don't do this again. I'm, I'm very educated now. I'm very rich now. You can't be pushing me like that. I hold a big office now. Nina office nene. I'm a big family man. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. But I don't want you to throw away. Let me show you a place. Okay. Sit somewhere there. Yes. You sit somewhere there. Whatever you do. I come back to my seat. I come, sir. If you ask me, do you know Jesus? Oh, yes, when I was a young person. <laughs> Something I, I welcomed him, but now. I'm too educated for those things. But once in a while, I go to church and begin saying, Are you still there? Are you there? Yes, If you ask me, why are you not near? But he's somewhere there. I, I, I can quote him. Don't, don't you say that you love your neighbor? Don't you say that you give a lot of money to church? Haven't I been doing it? Haven't I helped the orphans? What is your problem? I'm back to my seat. Things are not working. Peace is gone. My family is in shambles. Because Jesus is not on the throne. No commitment. Sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this as the first center. We offer you a sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always endeavor to, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give order to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, O creatures of heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out without end as we acclaim. Let gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life and, and make all things holy. You never cease gather people to yourself. So
but from the raising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice is offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, that the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts are brought to you for consecration, and become the body and blood of Jesus Christ, whose command to celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to the disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the blessing of your church and recognizing the sacrifice of victim, whose death will lead to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and feel this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with the Uganda martyrs, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we arrive for unfailing help. May this, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered to all the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Throw him with him in him, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All oh, glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Salvatore's monity, a divina insione for mati, o demus dicere. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
through offertory. We are going to give unto God and the ushers, you remember how we planned it. Let me request that you walk and do the needful to make sure that people will have uh, an opportunity to give the uh, offertory to God. And we've sat for uh, a while, and so as you step forward to give your offertory, there are baskets that are going to be put near you, in each, uh, before you, in front of each tent, and even across uh, in the garden, there are people coming over dressed in the uniforms so that you can be able to offer to God. So we shall all arise because we've sat for long and the choir will lead us but together we shall sing that hymn on page 100 Yesu Christo na hurura kurwan sechibi the Son of God goes forth to war. Shall we all stand? And the choir will lead us in that song. Thank you very much. As we offer unto God, and when we stand, of course, people get an opportunity to pass and go forward to offer to God. Uh, thank you very much, choir. What a bunch.
Ban, thank you so much. Can you resume your seat a bit? We, we are continuing to offer to God. But right now, I would like to invite one of our key gospel singers from the Ankore area, uh, Mr. Julius Muhozi. Yes, Mr. Julius Muhozi, as we continue with Ofatore, would you please come and uh, give us a piece? Julius Muhozi is a blessing and a miracle because one time COVID-19 took him down, down, down close to death. But by God's grace, he was able to go through it. Can we give it unto God because of our beloved Julius? Uh, I don't see him now. And because of time, we shall move on with uh, the band, police uh, band and choir, Omurremur Waruhanga on page 101. That song, Shall We Gather at the River? as we continue to offer unto God. Thank you very much, band and choir. What a beautiful moment.
Thank you, choir. Thank you. Now let us wind up uh, this bit uh, with uh, Mohozi as uh, those who are receiving offertory approach the altar. Mohozi, you will move and cut it short because we have another time during Holy Communion. So please, Mohozi. Yeah. 
Bishop of Northumberland Diocese to lead us in prayer as he offers uh, together with us to God. Thank you very much, brother. Let's humble ourselves in prayer as we dedicate our offer to raise unto the Lord. Father God, we want to thank you for the gift of love and for the gift of salvation that you reveal to us through the person of your dear son, Lord Jesus Christ. We want to thank you for the gift of the Uganda martyrs, for they chose to take the path of commitment in dying for the faith. And the Father, we want to thank you for all your people who have offered unto you. We pray that, Lord, you bless them all. We dedicate these offerings unto you, praying for your blessing upon them, praying for your blessing upon all those who have offered towards the expansion of your kingdom work. Lord, we continue to pray that you sanctify them, that they be used for the expansion of your kingdom work. That, Lord, your people will continue to take the path of commitment even as they, they, they serve you. We want to thank you for the greater and colder diocese, for the great work that they have done 
in leading this year's Uganda Matters celebration is. We thank you for the head of the Anglican Church in Uganda, your servant, the most reverend, uh, Stephen Kazimba Mugalu, and all the bishops, all the people who have joined in this great celebration and celebration, Lord. We say thank you to you. And the Father, may you continue to accept these gifts that they may be used for your own glory. Accept them and accept the hands that have offered them to you. For we ask all this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much, my brother, Rice Reverend Samuel Gidudu of North Mbala Diocese. Now, before we proceed, and we are coming to an important part of our service, the Holy Communion, there is an announcement from Sironko District. Someone called Inogwale uh, has gotten lost, dressing in a genie trouser uh, and t-shirt uh, with white long, okay, white long sleeved, and it has maroon colors. Uh, please, someone who brought this announcement, come and clarify. It's not. It's not clear. Uh, you can come to the podium and clarify as we continue. Thank you very much. Uh, let's move on. Uh, right, Reverend James Sewagala. Let us all stand up. You who sincerely repent of your sins, love your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, keeping God's commandments, draw near with faith, and take these holy sacraments to comfort you. But listen to what our Savior Jesus said to those who return to him. Come to me, all you are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. God so loved the world that he gave his only his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Next is Bishop Kosea Odongo, Bishop of the Diocese of Soroti, he will take us through the next part. Rejoice and lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. O Lord, holy and everlasting God, it is not only right but also our duty to give you thanks at all times and in all places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the saints in heaven, we praise your glorious name forever, saying together, Holy, 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 God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, Lord most high. Amen. May we all be seated or kneel as we join together in the prayer of humble access. And we all praying together saying, we do not presume to come to your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own goodness, but in your mercy. We are not good enough even to eat the crumbs that fall from your table, but you never change. Your nature is always of mercy. We therefore humbly ask you, gracious Lord, to let us eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, so that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed by his precious blood, and that we may forever dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Go. 
God, our Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for giving us your Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die on the cross for our salvation. As we receive these elements in the way our Savior showed us, may we truly receive his body and his blood. The night he was betrayed, he took the bread. And after giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in memory of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And after giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which was shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in memory of me. Yeah. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Brethren, may I invite you to come, draw near to the holy table, or wherever a minister will be, and take this holy sacrament to comfort you and strengthen your spiritual lives. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Your Grace. Now, I request that you keep in your seat. The clergy are coming with the elements, and you'll walk and receive the bread and wine where it will be closest to you. Uh, the clergy will move even across to the gardens and we all are going to receive the sacraments. Thank you very much. Now I shall request the police band and choir together to sing that song. Sing and play that song on one, page 104 Omzunu Wa Yesu and uh, when they are done, the Boys Brigade Band will also give us a piece. So, choir and police, please do your thing. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey. 
And now, as observe a moment of silence in adoration and contemplation of what we have just received. Now I invite you all to stand for the post-communion prayer. Let us stand. To you, Mirire. To you, Mirire. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of the, your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray. Make us in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord. Let us be seated. Now, we shall have a few speeches which will follow shortly. But before that, we will recognize some of the dignitaries, Mideast, just some because we, we can't mention everyone. You will really excuse me if some people are not mentioned. But if I do that, uh, two things. I would like to invite the head of the late, the president of UNCLA, UNCLA, uh, to make it simple for four of us, Saba Christu, Isaba Christu, Akwembewa Catholic Vona, Uganda, Waleite. Mr. Jervas in Dianavo, where I will hear him, Mucharao, Mugir Maiso, Ningonza to it, Gereze, Wunda to Iwaga. Times we forget. Today was also designated as the National Day of the Late. So it is your day. Since the majority of you are late here, this is your National Day. And so your head will be here to represent you and also will give a speech on your behalf. In the meantime, we could recognize some of the dignitaries. The church protocol is short and I will reserve it uh, for somebody, especially I think people would want to know the bishops who are present with us and those will be presented at in due time. Uh, I, I appreciate the clergy and the religious and all the, uh, the, the leaders of the laity who are present at this celebration. But I would like to go to briefly uh, through the government protocol or our civil leaders too. With us at this mass in this celebration, we have been with the Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda Right Reverend Honorable Robin Nabanja Akiki, who happens to be the guest of honor because she's also here to represent His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni Tubahaburwa, the President of the Republic of Uganda. So she's the guest of honor. We are happy you could be present in your own capacity and the capacity of the head of this state. The other one who is present is Speaker, Honorable Speaker of the 11th Parliament of the Republic of Uganda, Right Honorable Anet Anita Amongi Akik, double A, A, oh no, triple, quadro A, A, A. 
Aneti Anita Amonga Kiki is also present. The Watoro gave her a pet name, so she, she's at home with it. Present also is the deputy speaker, right on our Tayewa Thomas. And he was with us yesterday. He attended the evening mass uh, with us. We also have the Honorable Chief Justice, His Lordship Alfonsi Owini Dolo Chigamoy, over there. Thank you, most welcome, uh, Your Lordship. We also have Honorable Ministers, and since there are many, I'll just say ministers who have had a good presence of ministers, the cabinet minister, the ministers, they are all, many of them are present in that area of the VIPs where they normally sit. Maybe I just mentioned that also there was Honorable Mpoga, Matthias, and his wife, the leader of opposition. There they are, They're standing for recognition. We also had uh, Angriza Gutamba, Oyo Nyimba Kabambi, Guru Kido Wakana, Omkamo Watoro. We also had uh, Abekitirisa Katikiro of Uganda, first of Katikiro of Soga, Dr. Joseph Muvawala. He is also the executive director of the National Planning Authority. We also had Omukiro Abunyoro Kitara, Andrew Biakutaga. We stand for recognition also. We had one of the members of parliament, and there are many, as I said, we probably cannot go through the whole protocol. Uh, let's just clap for them. They came in big numbers. Honorable MPs, if you could start all together so they don't think I'm speaking, people are not here. The MPs, please, on your side, if you can start for a couple, let's clap for them. Thank you for coming so many. And the pilgrims are many. Uh, we are all many. We are, I think we cannot possibly recognize everyone. Maybe I should mention that we have many foreign, also foreign pilgrims from Kenya, from uh, Congo, from Zimbabwe even, and, uh, and other countries, from Tanzania. Tanzania is, has a big delegation here, headed by Godfrey Madaraka Nyerere and his sisters, the children of, of Aleti Nyerere, and uh, also uh, the dignitaries that came with them. We welcome you to this place. So, since we are, I think we, as I said, we cannot go through the whole list. The rest of us, we are all welcome. This is our place. We are here as pilgrims. We came to pray. We are all welcome. Yes, the Vice President, Edward Secondi, was former, former, former Vice President, is present. You are most welcome, Honorable, over there. Now, uh, we will begin with the speeches, and they are brief speeches, so uh, you know we have not had the blessing to conclude Mass, but just be patient because the speeches will be brief, and then you can have the blessings to take with you at home as we conclude our pilgrimage. The first one who's going to speak is the President of UNCLA, as I told you. Uh, Mr. Gervas Indianabo is already here, and I would invite him to come to the podium. I suppose you all should stand next to you, and, uh, and then they can see who did it. And the other members of UNCLA who may be nearby, the executive, please be near your president as he delivers your speech. not break your heart or cause some coldness that you didn't get that uh, element. May the Lord comfort you 
and we really heartily apologize. And in some cases, of course, you know, the crowd might be much bigger, which we thank God for. So please take heart, take heart, take heart, uh, take heart sincerely. And uh, uh, now uh, we are doing good on time and we are actually descending and we agreed that uh, after Holy Communion, we shall wind up and then His Grace will pray for us at the end of it all. So, but let us join in our prayer, the Lord's Prayer, as we wind down on this. But the, the, the Archbishop will give us the blessing after other few items that are following. Together. Our Father in heaven, allowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily food. We forgive our sins. And we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Now, your grace, there are two uh, pilgrims that the principal has uh, noted me about that they walked uh, from Lango sub-region to here. And um, we would like to recognize, I don't know if they are anywhere near, Lawrence Okello from West Lango. Is uh, Lawrence here? Uh, uh, Lawrence, of course, since he walked here, he should be here. But maybe a little far. But Lawrence, is, he, is this Lawrence? Wow, wow. Clap at this man. He's the person who walked all the way, all the way from West Langhorne to here. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless you. Hey, what a commitment. Six days and six nights of walking. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you can walk back. Now, another one. I have a record that Honorable Susan Abeja, woman MP or Truke District, also walked for eight days. Uh, is she here? Uh, she too walked. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Susan. Uh, she too walked, and, and we thank you so much. Uh, that's that's very, very. Wow, wow. Come, come, come here, and the, His Grace would like to see you, and appreciate you. At least if he can wave to you, uh, because of that commitment. Thank you, Honorable. That's very, very good. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Her bishop is receiving her. Uh, apoyo, apoyo, Mate. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, the other one, the, that bishop says, uh, Lawrence should also come. Should also come and and shake a hand with uh, his grace. Wow! Thank you very much. Uh, this is good. Thank you very much. Uh, and you will get an opportunity 
to have a pic, a picture with his grace. Thank you very much. Let's Would you please allow, allow me to pray for them? Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah. The other time he worked for, this time five days. How many kilometers? Oh, 300. Praise the Lord. 300 kilometers and the honorable. 14 days in 2019. Four hundred and thirty-five kilometers, honorable member of parliament, walking from that because of Jesus Christ. Pray the Lord. Uh, and uh, they they came with a, a big. You came with a big group. Uh, God bless you. Wherever you are, I am praying for these ones here. And wherever you are, stand up if you walked. Even those who walked, I heard some people walked from Katwe Matas Church up to here. <laughs> every pilgrim, every pilgrim, Obutuena Oje Otambuide, Aimuchahari, His Grace would like to pray for them, all the pilgrims. Would you stand up? They can stand up. Okay, let us pray. My prayer is this shouldn't be the end of it or it should walk with Jesus Christ and you have that relationship with him that will go with him and to him. May God bless you and keep you. May God sustain you. May God take care of you and all others who walked that this should be just a symbol of children of God who are committed to walking with Jesus and the blessings without the sorrow of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, rest upon you, rest upon you, rest upon you all, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Uh, I am told there are other pilgrims in a, uh, an, a category that should be recognized. But our cluster chair, Bishop Sheldon, will mention some, I'm told, but uh, these were brought to me here, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure there could be others. There is water, J-I-B water, it's available, and uh, that water should be served. I also would like to encourage you to buy the magazine, it is not just uh, a magazine, it's a book that has uh, excellent and wonderful and important uh, pieces of information about revival, about Ankole, about the roots of revival and its impact in this region. Very, very key people of an advanced age that uh, made a statement in Ankole, including the mother of our president. Her profile is also there, and many other people. Uh, there's, there's a lot of information that you shouldn't miss. Now, I have good news for you. We are coming to the close of the function. We now are remaining with the following items. They actually are only two. There is a kiddo moment and then some remarks and we shall be done. Now let me request the kiddo guys to come. I'm giving you four minutes, just four, to come and make a statement here. The kiddo team, this is your moment. And uh, it's now three at about 50 minutes. I mean, 50 seconds. Three minutes and 50 seconds. Kiddo moment has arrived. 
Now, because we love Kido, uh, we are giving you five minutes. Uh, thank you very much. These minds have done a great work. Uh, and we are very grateful. Would you please say something about this kiddo? Your Grace, this is the Kido Provincial Committee, chaired by Lay Canon Ben Mbonye. You can wave to the congregation. I'm Geoffrey Biarugawa. This is a uh, coordinator, Kasambiko and uh, JB Nwagawa from our partner bank, Equity. Kido, in short, is Kingdom Development Organ, a project of the Church of Uganda that is aiming at fighting ignorance, poverty, and disease. And if you become a member of Kido, by paying 50,000 Uganda shillings annual subscription, that entitles you as a member to qualify and benefit in the three key pillars. The pillar of financial services, the pillar of education, and the pillar of health services. Chairman, give us more details. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome His, Ex His Excellency Augustine Kasuja, the Papal Nuncio Emeritus, who is with in our midst today. It is my honor also to welcome Right Honorable Robin Anabanja the Prime Minister and all our cultural leaders including the King of, of Toro Oyo who is an Amidist Dear Chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference Bishop Joseph Anthony Zua the Your Graces the Archbishops my Lord Bishops the Secretary General of the Episcopal Conference, Honorable Ministers, Members of Parliament, ladies and gentlemen. I also join Mr. Njanabo to thank and welcome Bishop Muhirwa and the Diocese of Fort Porto, who has led us in the praise and worship today. I'm pleased to inform you that our elder judge, His Eminence Emane Kaduno Wamara, sends you warm greetings and is with us today in spirit and prayer. <laughs> On behalf of the Archdiocese of Kampala, and indeed on my own behalf, I warmly welcome you all to this year's celebration of the solemn feast of the holy martyrs of Uganda, our ancestors in faith. We thank the Almighty God for the gift of the holy martyrs of Uganda and their witness, which speaks to generations after generations of believers in Uganda, Africa, and the world at large. Their life and death is a testimony to us, the ancestors, that strengthened by the Holy Spirit, we can stand firm in the faith despite the challenges that we experience in life. We thank God that we have been able to gather here in a big, big numbers this year. We last gathered in such a manner on 3rd June 2019. In 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Mass on Uganda Matters Day were celebrated, were not celebrated here. 
in, in 2021, celebrations took place here, led by a massacre diocese, but in a very modest manner. Most of us participated remote, remotely through various means of social communications. And I would like to thank the media for ably helping us to evangelize through media. We are grateful to God that the, that the pandemic has receded and we are now able to gather in big numbers like we have done today. We also thank the Diocese of Fort Porto under their shepherd Bishop Robert Muhira for spearheading and animating this year's Uganda Matters Day celebrations. We thank the individuals and institutions whose contributions and support has made this year's celebrations successful. In particular, I would like to thank the government of Uganda and the president for the enormous support which has enabled us to hold a success, this successful celebration today. Great gratitude goes to you, dear brothers and sisters, who have turned up in such big numbers. In particular, we thank the pilgrims who have walked on foot so many miles from far and near to come to Namugongo. You, you have followed in the footsteps of the martyrs by persevering despite the many challenges you have endured on your way. We pray that the Lord may grant all the intentions for which you have offered your, your pilgrims, your, your, you as pilgrims. As we celebrate this year's Uganda Matters Day, I convey condolences to you all, dear people, who have lost their loved ones or experienced tragedies since we last came together for these celebrations. In particular, we remember our shepherds with whom we used to make this pilgrimage, whom the Lord called home. Bishop John Baptist Kagwa, Archbishop Dr. Sipen Chistorwanga, who enormously contributed to the development of this place, Archbishop James Odongo, and Archbishop Dennis Chiwanuka Lote. We commit these and all our departed loved ones into the merciful hands of God. This year, we have heard that some of our pilgrims who were walking on foot to Namugongo have passed on, some due to accidents and others due to natural causes. We condole with the families, relatives, and friends of the deceased and pray that the Uganda matters to whom they were so devoted may intercede for them, that they may be welcome, welcomed into God's kingdom. The theme of this year's celebration is baptized and sent to witness Christ with love and hope. This theme reminds us that through baptism, we became kings, priests, and prophets. The prophetic nature of our identity requires us to be active participants in making the message of Christ known rather than mere spectators. The Uganda Matters, whose feast we celebrate, gave us an example. On 8th November 1882, 
Father Ludel and his companions departed Buganda and went to Tanganyika. When they came back later, they were surprised to find that the number of believers had increased enormously. So the Uganda martyrs and the first generation of Christians had evangelized others and led them to God, although they were not priests. They teach us that the work of evangelizing is not reserved for the clergy and religious only, it is for all of us. And you, dear lady, that in Uganda we try to do it. Let us continue to walk in the footsteps of the Uganda matters. On the 9th and 10th of October 2021, in Rome, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, launched a synodal process which will reach its climax in 2023 with a synod on synodality. The theme of the process and the synod itself is for a synodal church communion, participation, and mission. So the central message of this theme is that we all have a stake in the mission of Christ. Let us participate in this mission by spreading the faith in our families, communities, and wherever we find ourselves in the world. In the spirit of solidarity, let us also learn to work together the whole matters of Uganda worked together, encouraged each other and strengthened each other at the palace and during their journey to Namugongo. They give us a model of truly fraternal community. So as brothers and sisters, Ugandans, Africans, Christians, believers, let us work together as brothers, let us work together as communities, let us work together in a friendly way. So as we celebrate this year's Mother's Day, witnesses by living of our Christian faith, the Uganda Mothers were witnesses who lived exemplary lives and conformed to God's will to the point of losing their lives. We pray that they, they may intercede for us, that our lives may be filled with faith, hope, and love, and that the good example of our lives may draw others to know and to love God. Banyabo Nebasebo Nadara Ava Kampala Kidaisis Mungere Njauro Nedoboze Denenyo Pranidize Badamazwa Nafe Avazo Nuradero Ade to Kurisenyo Fort Porto Daisis Nekurembe Dua Bishop Muhirwa Njagala okubeba zokubela nga mwuzi wanji No kutendele zoburu nji Mbasaside Ne mkubwa giza mwena uluku firwa Aba tufudeko aba anje nyo Omuli na wakulembe zewa fe Achibisho puwanga mgenzi John Baptist Kagwa Achibisho po dong Achibisho po lote chuanuka now again, Zabarara. But now, not Srikiremo, we watch Sovoka to Bakwaso Mukama. I 
Hai muka mabwe chumu leo kita kwao Nya kubaga liza kutambula ulonji Mutuke ulonji nga muda yo Emikisa jetufunye wano Jiwa tambuli yeko Tungiru kubela awa kristu Awa ntu baka tunda awa ulonji nga tuwa gala na Nga wana baka tunda Tuya mbaga ne nga wakiso woka Tuwe njigire mili mjie kerezia Okukiri na kofe kule mkubela mbigambo mbigambo Nye kubele na mbikorwa Omuka maa aweli na mwe Now, let us listen to the speech from His Lordship Joseph Anton Ezewa, Bishop of Kindamitiana and Chairman of Uganda Episcopal Conference. He will also introduce to us the bishops who are present at this Mass. My dear brothers and sisters, I respect and acknowledge and recognize the protocol which was well detailed by the many celebrant Bishop Muhirwa and those who have spoken before me. So I may not repeat every detail. However, let me say, Your Excellency, the Papal Nuncio to Uganda, your graces, your lordships, my dear brother priests, the religious, and the head of the laity, the right honorable prime minister of the Republic of Uganda, members of parliament, ministers, and all civil and political leaders here present, including the traditional leaders, the cultural leaders. I greet you all and on behalf of the bishops, the Catholic bishops in Uganda, we welcome you with joy once again to this holy shrine of Namugongo, where we have gathered to celebrate the heroic witnessing of Christ by the 22 martyrs of Namugongo and the, tw the two martyrs whom we particularly celebrate on the 20th October every year. Indeed, this is a heroic gathering coming two years after the country and the whole world was locked down to contain the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. Let us thank God for keeping us alive and let us always pray for the repose of the souls of our beloved brothers and sisters who succumbed to the pandemic. We likewise extend our condolences to the bereaved. Today, 3rd June, the blood of the martyrs is considered the seed and the yeast of the Christian faith in Uganda. And these are not our own words, but we are emphasized by, allow me to mention two saints, Saint Ignatius and Tertullian in the early church. The Uganda martyrs were simple young people who drew courage and motivation from Christ's own suffering and death and from the hope offered by his resurrection. I believe most of you, if not all of you, who have bought the magazine of the celebration today have my message. 
I'm not going to repeat what is written there. Let me simply give an expanded version of that message and I would like to mention a few points of appreciation. I congratulate you for coming to Namgongo to pray for, for, our, for us and to pray with the martyrs. Some of you have walked and traveled miles from inside and outside Uganda to reach this holy place. To us, this is an expression of faith in the exemplary lives of the martyrs and the power of their intercession. We are also happy to have in our midst the representative of the Holy Father in the person of the Most Reverend Rigi Bianco, the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. We are grateful to you, Your Excellency, for your encouragement and the facilitation of this event. Our special gratitude goes to the President of the Republic of Uganda and the government for all the support it has given towards the success of this day. We continue to appreciate the government for ensuring that this shrine is recognized as a pilgrimage site. Allow me in a special way and wholeheartedly to thank Fort Porto Diocese under the leadership of the Bishop, Right Reverend Robert Muhirwa, for accepting to take lead in this year's Matters Day celebration on behalf of Uganda Episcopal Conference. We are so grateful to all who have participated to make this day re realized as we have seen, as we have heard. The choir, what shall we say? Thank you, thank you, Mwebale Muno. I thank everyone who has in any way or other contributed towards the success of this day. You can rest assured that your efforts have not been in vain. May the risen Lord, through the intercession of the martyrs of Uganda, bless you a hundredfold. I would like to thank the staff of the Uganda Episcopal, sorry, the staff of the Uganda Catholic Secretariat and those who have worked hand in hand with the Fort Porto Diocese in ensuring the event is well organized. And we come home, Kampala Archdiocese. Our appreciation goes to Kampala Archdiocese, led by Archbishop Paul Semogerere, for keeping Namgongo Shrine a place worthy to celebrate such an event. In conclusion, may I request all of you to keep the, the bishops here present and others who are to come, pray for the success of our upcoming plenary meeting of the Catholic bishops of Uganda, commencing on the 6th next Monday, and we shall end on the 10th June this year. Pray for us, and we shall be praying for you. I want to wish a safe journey back home to everyone until we meet again. Before I leave this podium, I would like to present and introduce to you the bishops and archbishops who are here. His Excellency, Luigi Bianco, is the Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda. His Excellency, Augustine Kasuja, the Apostolic Nuncio Emeritus. And the bishops from Gulu Ecclesiastical Province, 
we have His Grace John Baptist Odama, the Archbishop of Uguru. Right Reverend Sanctus Lino Wanok, the Bishop of Ulida. Right Reverend Giuseppe Franzeri, Bishop Emeritus of Ulida. Right Reverend Giuseppe Franzeri, yes, I'm repeating the same, Bishop Emeritus of Ulida. And Right Reverend Raphael Wokorach, Bishop of Nebi. From Mbarara Ecclesiastical Province, His Grace Lambert Bainom Gisha, the Archbishop of Mbarara. Right Reverend Robert Muhirwa, our main celebrant, Bishop of Fort Poro. Right Reverend Joseph Mogeni, Okiziare Bishop of Fort Poro. Right Reverend Francis Aquinos Chibira, Bishop of Kasese. Right Reverend Egidio Nkaijanabo, Bishop Emeritus of Kasese. Right Reverend Vincent Chirabo, Bishop of Hoima Diocese. From Tororo Ecclesiastical Province, his Grace Emmanuel Obo, Archbishop of Tororo. Right Reverend Damiano Giuseppe, Bishop of Moroto. Bishop, right Reverend Joseph Oriach Echiru, Bishop of Soroti. Bishop Giuseppe Filippi, Bishop of Cotido. what was humanly possible and within the context of global economic challenges that we are facing today for whatever might have gone wrong like our estimation of the number of people that would have holy communion we apologize and ask for forgiveness and for what we have done well thanks to return to God we hope the lessons learned through our various programs and the great service we have had today. This shall remain a testimony in our lives. May the spirit of East African Revival Movement and the courage of the martyrs that died for their faith bless us as we return to our different destinations and keep us growing in its service. I say this for God and my country, and thank you. Tomote tendereza yesu, yesu ole mana wendika, omo sa ye unaseza, yeva sa umurokozi. Thank you very much. Uh, let us give it up for the organizing committee chair. Thank you very much. Um, I like the way you walk. Uh, <laughs> majestically, gracefully. Thank you very much. Now, beloved, we are going to listen to the chairman uh, of the organizing cluster. Now, just uh, a quick reminder that this arrangement is provincial. Uh, His Grace and the House of Bishops agreed that we, we rotate in clusters and uh, the cluster of Ankole of the five dioceses has a chair who happens to be the Bishop of Ancoli Diocese, and that is the old, uh, our mother diocese, the Right Reverend Dr. Sheldon Fred Mwesugwa. Let me request him to come and give his remarks. Thank you very much. The bishops present, the main celebrant, His Lordship Robert Mohirwa, 
Bishop of the Diocese of Portal, the Chairman of the Episcopal Conference, Bishop Joseph Anthony Ziwa, the Archbishop of Kampala, His Grace Paul Semogherere, for the first time he are present in his responsibility of this archdiocese. I would like to greet the clergy from different dioceses, the religious, men and women, and all the faithful. In a special way, I would like to greet the distinguished civil authority for the honor of their presence today here, the Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, the Speaker of Parliament, the Chief Justice, and all the dig over dignitaries and political leaders. The Church is rich in martyrs, and they are present in all the history of the Church until today. Tertullian wrote, the blood of Christians is seed and ensures the growth and fruitfulness of the people of God. The guiding theme chosen for this year invites to consider the gift of baptism received and the new life in Christ. The Christians are sent to witness Christ with love and hope and in this way to build a better future for the whole humanity as artisans of peace and reconciliation. The martyrs and all the saints are models and intercessors in the journey of the people of God. Next Sunday will be the solemnity of Pentecost when the Apostles and the Virgin Mary were gathered in the upper room in Jerusalem and they received the gift of the Spirit from the high. It was the beginning of the Church. The Spirit gave strength to the Uganda martyrs to remain faithful to Jesus and to accept the martyrdom. May the Holy Spirit descend in abundance and fill our hearts and minds and kindle the fire of his love in everyone. Finally, I would like to congratulate, congratulate and to thank the Diocese of Fort Portal and the many institutions, the government of Uganda and individuals for their contributions for a successful celebration of this important day. A blessed Martyrs Day to all. was sung in the cognition of the Holy Father, whom the Nuncio represents. Now, as you know, this event is, uh, belongs to the Uganda Episcopal Conference, and so the, the guest of honor cannot be invited by me, the MC. I would like to again invite you, the chairman of the Bishop's Conference, to invite the guest of honor to address us. Right Honorable Robina Nabanja, 
you may be here in various capacities as a Catholic you have come to pray and uh, honor the Uganda matters you are the Prime Minister of Uganda but more so you are here in the capacity representing His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museven the President of the Republic of Uganda you are most welcome I have the honor and joy to invite you to address this congregation. The Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Anita Annette Among, the Chief Justice of Uganda, the Archbishop Bianco, the Apostolic Nonsho to Uganda, His Grace Paulo Semogere, the Archbishop of Kampala, and all Archbishops. His Excellency Edward Sekandi, the former Vice President of Uganda, and the Special Envoy to the President, all Cabinet Ministers, State Ministers, the Leader of Opposition in Parliament, colleague Members of Parliament, His Majesty Rukirabasaija Oyo Nyimba Kabambaiguru, the King of Toro, Right Reverend Kunewa, the Bishop of Fort Porto Diocese, and other bishops present, the hosting bishop, all political leaders, traditional leaders, ladies and gentlemen, before I read the President's speech, allow me to inform you that uh, as we are going on with prayers, there was a lot of noise and music around us. So I used my powers to stop them. And this will not happen again. People come here to pray, not to listen to music. And this nonsense will not, will not come again. Let me now go to the President's speech. A greetings, people of God. Congratulations on reaching the Matters Day of 2022. I thank you for the support you gave government during the time when we were fighting COVID-19, especially from the church leaders and you, the people of Uganda. The NRM government participated, supported the Matters Day for the first time in 1986. 
I did not remember still the matter's day in that big way before except the Pope visited Uganda in 1969. On that first celebration, I remember, you know, Tomucho of Rome representing the Pope and both the Cardinal Rugambwa of Tanzania and our own Cardinal Subuga were there. Since that time, we made, we made it a public holiday. We also observe Nyerere Day on the fact of June. The Matters Day shows the resistance potential among the people of Uganda. These young people and some HD Ugandans resisted resisted the ignorance and the corruption of Kabaka Mwanga who was cruel fighting new ideas about God and society. Whatever views Mwanga had on the new religion, Christianity and Islam, he should not have used violence, especially the violence of killing people whose results are irreversible. Once again, I want to inform you that once heads are cut, they do not grow again. Kushevuka. Mwanga, Mwanga's violence failed to stop the growth of Christian church and the Muslim faith. We praise God for that because the new religions were further classifying the principles of, go of good conduct in the human race. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. It says in the book of Mark, chapter 12, verses 30 to 31. Even if you do not look at the other aspects emphasized by the new religions of life and death, this teaching was a good therapy for mankind. It castigated atheism, not believing in God and selfishness. Mwanga should not have used the violence to oppose these new ideas for the betterment of society and the human race. It is good, therefore, that Christian and Muslim faith have grown in Uganda and Africa. Nevertheless, it is a betrayal of these very matters to get actors claiming to be believers, believing in and promoting sectarianism of religion, all tribe, all gender, all chosenism. What then happened to loving the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength and loving your neighbor as yourself? In fact, soon after these martyrs were killed, in, uh, in 1885, 
86. Civil wars raged Uganda, mainly among the so-called believers, backed by European teachers of these new religions, such as his, Taka, and others. Even when the civil wars ended, mistrust and tension among these new believers went on, manifesting itself in different forms, including in the form of the political parties that were sectarian until the NRM come, came to power on the scene in 1986. If you skip the period between 1965 and 1986 of the patriotic student movement and the patriotic resistance fighting groups, ladies and gentlemen, I salute Ugandans for enthusiastic receiving our message and lying around it. I also salute the religious faith for copying the example of the NRM and either creating or reinforcing the interreligious council. Thank you for gestioning the shameful, certainly unchristian, because on that I am sure of, but hopeful, also an Islamic practice of sectarianism that had turned the new believers, the faith for which martyrs died, into hypocrites. Think one thing and doing totally a different thing in practice. Ever since the Ugandan Israel around the message of NRM of down with sectarianism. We have also been giving them another message, also in the Bible. This, this is the parable of the Terence, the master that has left the Terence with his servants. Praise the one that had multiplied the Terence and cast out the ones that had lost all not multiplied the tyrants into them. This is in the book of Matthew chapter 25 verses 14 to 30. The NRM has been calling on Ugandans and all families, the 9 million of them, especially with agricultural land, to use these tyrants not for the sake of the master, but for your sake, to get out of poverty by uh, the understanding either all or some of the following activities. Coffee, fruits, zero grazing, poultry, pigs, if you are not a Muslim, or a traditional Munyankore fish farm. If you are on a plain area or eater and the food production bananas cassava irish potatoes etc if your family has got only four acres or less we call this intensive agriculture using a small area to get high returns the country however also needs extensive agriculture so as to produce lower priced commodities such as sugar, sugar cane, cotton, tea, tobacco, etc. That are in some cases even indispensable for intensive agriculture, such as animal feeds, for instance. Therefore, all the families of the believers that have land for agriculture, big or small, must take part in this campaign of enlightenment, of chasing poverty from homes, especially under parish development model. We regard 
with regard to the families who may not have land for agriculture. All have no interest in agriculture. They can look at a mioga. All work in the factories. All work with the services. For example, transport, banks, hotels, etc. All in ICT. Otherwise, the question then is, how are you different from the pagans that still believe in ID? Let your light so sign before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. It says in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Elsewhere in the book of Corinthians chapter 6 verses 19 to 20. It says, do you know, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you? Whom you have received from God? Are you not your, you are not on your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with bodies. Ibiri ye ne ye karu yaru hang. You can you can our bodies can be the temple of the Lord if they are full of sin, disease, hunger, improperly closed. We shall know them by their fruits. It says in the book of Matthew, chapter seven. Verses 16 to 23. Countries like the USA were modernized by some of the Christian groups. Let the, let the believers in Uganda prove that they can historically add value to Uganda in terms of wealth and people's prosperity. Coincidentally, six days from today, on the 9th of June, 2022, we shall be celebrating the 41st Heroes Day. On the 9th of June, 1981, in Chikandwa village, nine NRM supporters, led by Edidian Lutamaguzi, were cut with pangas by Basri Okero. However, they, like the matters of war, They, like the matters of 1986, refused to reveal the location of the small unit of NRA fighters led by Jack Muchunuguzi that was hiding nearby. It is this heroism deep in the chest of Ugandans that we should use to modernize Uganda. The killers of Chikandwa nine in the end paid a heavy price and they were defeated the nra won the total victory in 1986 on the 26th of january uh, 1986 i thank you fellow ugandans i wish everybody a happy and safe mother's day for god and my country Our schools can once again be places of peace and learning. Families. Families are still suffering from domestic violence that increased during the prolonged lockdowns. I urge every diocese and congregation in the Church of Uganda to start Father's Union Ministry. Father's Union Ministry, a strong one, because women are really extremely committed. So, fathers union ministry and focus on training up our boy children to become god-fearing men who demonstrate 
the fruits of the spirit in all their relationships. Boy children need really our attention. All of these challenges, however, are put in perspective. When we come together today and remember that a challenge these matters we faced was much bigger than what we face today. The Bible says that a little child shall read them. Friends, let the faith of these boys, of these martyrs, lead you to the same personal commitment to Christ as the preacher ministered to us. Our hope is in the Lord who can never forsake us. With Jesus, your life, with Jesus in your life, there will always be hope beyond affliction. Finally, I thank our guest preacher for joining us today, the right Reverend Dr. Samson Mwaruda, the third bishop of Taita Taveta Diocese, the Anglican Church of Kenya. He is retired, but not retired, not even expired, but he is required. So thank you very much for the great work we have done. And uh, for pioneering, uh, for pioneering Gafcon's Bishop's Training Institute for new bishops, which has really benefited us a lot. We also thank you, dear, your, we thank your dear wife, Mama Kaluni Agatha Maruda, for all her contributions to the ministry of Jesus. And lastly, I want to bring our appreciations to you for praying for us as a family and for Mama Margaret, who had uh, a lumbar uh, spine surgery from German. She is improving and doing better. She sent her greetings. Continue to pray for her. Pray also for Eastern Cluster. Eastern Cluster, would you please stand up, bishops from the Eastern Cluster? This is Bukedi, Busoga, Central Busoga, Mbale, North Mbale, Sebei, Kumi, Solot, Kalamoja, North Kalamoja. These are the ones leading next year. And uh, the chair will be the right reverend Samuel Egesa Bogere. Put up your hand. So pray for them uh, so that God will use them. May God bless you so, so much. Thank you so much for coming. Let me take this singular honor to invite the Right Honorable Deputy Speaker of Parliament to come and greet the people here and invite the, the, the guest of honor to address us. Thank you so much. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. Certificates there made for anyone who wants to have a certificate for the pilgrimage you made, you made here. But at this function, the bishop will give the youngest pilgrim and the oldest. The youngest is right here in front is 14 years, and the oldest is 100 years. He walked all the way from Bushenyi, the, the one of 100 years. The youngest walked from Fort Porto City. The oldest, I was just asking him, uh, he's 100 years, but one of his secrets, why he's still keeping strong, he's a pioneer. Have you ever heard of pioneer movement? The Pioneer Association, Bishop was preaching about the excessive drinking in this country. It is one movement that's helping us to fight the excessive drinking. And this this uh, gentleman who is 100 years and working from Bushenyi is a member of that. It may be indicating something. So he's going to get a certificate for working here. Uh, uh, all this. Today is a blessing for me and my dear wife to be here and for the first year as a deputy speaker of the Parliament of Uganda to be praying from the Anglican Shrine. 
I'm a blessed person together with my family. Your Grace, we are here and I'm personally here to recommit the Parliament of Uganda, especially the 11th Parliament, that we shall build on the strong relationship which our predecessors set or laid the foundation for, especially Mama Rebecca Kadaga, uh, right honorable who is here, and then was taken on by the right honorable, the late Jacob Oranya, under the leadership of right honorable Anita Anita Mong, and I, we shall ensure that that relationship is strengthened. So always count on us for support whenever you have any activity or projects. We shall ensure that government promises, especially those which have a budgetary implication, are passed expeditiously on the floor and without any question so that the church can do the work it is supposed to do. Your Grace, I also want to pledge to you that under our leadership, Parliament will protect the sanctity of the Lord, the strong beliefs we have as a Christian and believing country, and we shall ensure that the institution of the family is protected because we believe that's a very, very strong foundation for a country like Uganda. So when it comes to our budget, when it comes to the laws we pass, we shall ensure that no one, no force of evil will move to enter into the institution of the family, especially through the various you know, maneuvers being done by several uh, people to weaken that institution. So the parliament will not be used uh, to do that, and we shall ensure that indeed we protect that institution. Your Grace, I've seen very many projects you are doing, but especially I've seen uh, we still have a big debt. I urge each one of us to contribute, and me and my wife will contribute 50 million towards that. But we shall also give contributing, keep contributing for other projects that we have uh, for this church. I want to use this opportunity to congratulate Ankore Cluster and especially the head, Bishop Sheldon, and all of you who contributed and supported us from all over the country to ensure that we have a successful uh, celebration. Now it's my singular honor to invite uh, I, I also need to introduce to you and core members of parliament who are here. You know, uh... The king will also be joining uh, the guest of honor and the chief guest for the photo, but also the former vice president will come forward for the photo and uh, somebody representing the family of the late president of Tanzania, Nyerere, will also in this will be in this photo. Now I invite uh, before I invite the, the bishop, I want also to mention that the Chief Justice will be in the photo that will follow after the bishop's remarks and blessing. Now I invite the Bishop of Fort Potro, Right Reverend Robert Muhirwa Kiki. Bishop of Fort Potro and Vice Chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference to come and give your thanks to the people you'd like to, to recognize. Akiki, you're most welcome. Yes, yes. Mine is... Mine is just to give a vote of thanks and allow me... The Archbishop of Church of Uganda. 
the first deputy prime minister right honorable rebecca alitwala kadaga and also minister of uh, east african affairs the prime minister emeritus amama mbabazi right honorable colleagues ministers present colleagues members of parliament present allow me also to recognize all the house of bishops present all cultural leaders present as it has already been said i am here to represent his excellency the president and i have a message which i am going to read to you my grace and the rest of the congregation which his excellency the president himself prepared but before i read that let me bring you warm greetings from him who greeted you and the whole congregation and also i bring warm greetings from mama janet the minister of education and the first lady she also greeted you your grace and members of the congregation so i will now read the message as it is and it goes as follows the cardinals the archbishops the mufti the bishops the sheikhs and all the believers in god the almighty your grace i'm reading the message which his excellency himself prepared i am sure his protocol is designed in a special way because he's addressing the whole country greetings congratulations on reading reaching the matters day of 2022 the nrm participated and supported the matters day for the first time in 1986 i did not remember seeing the matters day in that big way before except when the pope visited uganda in 1969 on that first celebrations, I remember Cardinal Tumucho of Rome representing the Pope and both Cardinal Rugambwa of Tanzania and our own Cardinal Subuga were there. Since that time, we made it a public holiday. We also observed Nyerere Day on the 1st of June. The Matters Day shows the resistance potential among the people of Uganda. These young people and some middle-aged ones resisted the ignorance and corruption of Kabaka Mwanga, who was cruelly fighting the new ideas about God and society. Whatever views Mwanga had on the new religions, i.e. Christianity and Islam, he should not have used violence, especially the violence of killing people, whose results are irreversible. Once heads are cut, they do not grow again. O Kushubuka. Mwanga's violence failed to stop the growth of the Christian church and the Muslim faith. We praise God for that because the new religions were further clarifying the principles of good conduct in the human race. I quote, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. I close the quotes. It says in the Bible of Mark, chapter 12, verses 30 to 31. Your grace, even when you do not look at the other aspects emphasized by the new religions of life and death, this teaching was a good therapy for mankind. It castigated atheism, 
or not believing in God and selfishness. Mwanga should not have used violence to oppose these new ideas for the betterment of society and the human race. It is good, therefore, that the Christian and Muslim faith have grown in Uganda and Africa. Nevertheless, it is a betrayal of these very matters to get actors claiming to be believers, believing in promoting sectarianism of religion or tribe or gender chauvinism. What then happened to loving the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength? And loving your neighbor as yourself. In fact, soon after these matters were killed in 1885 to 1886, civil wars raged in Uganda, mainly among the so called believers, backed by the European teachers of this new religion, such as Had, Taka, and others. Even when the civil wars ended, mistrust and tension among these new believers went on, manifesting itself in different forms, including in the form of the political parties that were sectarian. Until the NRM came on the scene in 1986, if you skip the period between 1965 and 1986, of the patriotic student movement and the patriotic resistance fighting groups. I salute Ugandans for enthusiastically receiving our message and rallying around it. I also salute the religious faith for coping the example of the NRM and either creating or reinforcing the interreligious council. Thanks for jettisoning the shameful, certainly unchristian, because on that I am sure, but hopefully also an Islamic practice of sectarianism that had turned the new believers, the faith for which matters died, into hypocrites, professing one thing and doing a totally different thing in practice. Ever since the Ugandans rallied around the message of NRM of down with sectarianism, we have also been giving them another message also in the Bible. This is the parable of the talents. The master that had left the talents with his servants praised the one that had multiplied the talents and cast out the one that had either lost or not multiplied the talents entrusted to them. This is in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. The NRM has been calling on the Ugandan families, nine million of them, especially with agricultural land, to use these talents, not for the sake of the master, but for, the, for your sake to get out of poverty by the understand undertaking either all or some of the following activities. Coffee, fruit, diary, zero grazing, poultry, pigs, if you are not a Muslim or a traditional Mnyankole, fish farming, if you are on a plain area or Ruhita, and food production like bananas, cassava, Irish potatoes, etc. If your family has got only four acres or less, we call this intensive agriculture using a small area to get high returns. The country, however, also needs extensive agriculture so as to produce lower priced commodities such as sugarcane, cotton, tea, maize, tobacco, etc. 
that are in some cases even indispensable for intensive agriculture as animal feeds, for instance. Therefore, all the families of the believers that have land for agriculture, big or small, must take part in this campaign of enlightenment of chasing poverty from our homes. With regard to the families who may not have land for agriculture or have no interest in agriculture, they can look at emioga or work in the factories or work with the services, e.g. transport, banks, hotels, etc. or in ICT. Otherwise, the question then is, how are you different from the pagans that still believe in idols? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. It says in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. Elsewhere in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 19 to 20, it says, Do, not know, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Embiri ya nyu nie karu ya ruhanga. How can our bodies be the temple of the Lord if they are full of sin, disease, hunger, improperly dressed? We shall know them by their fruits. It says in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 16 to 23. Countries like the USA were modernized by some of the Christian groups. Let the believers in Uganda prove that they can historically add value to Uganda in terms of wealth and people's prosperity. Coincidentally, six days from today, on the 9th of June 2022, we shall be celebrating the 41st Heroes Day. On the 9th of June 1981, in Chikandwa village, Nine NRM supporters led by Edidian Lutamaguzi were cut with pangas by Basileo Okello. However, they, like the matters of 1886, refused to reveal the location of the small unit of NRA fighters led by Jack Muchunguzi that was hiding nearby. It is this heroism deep in the chest of Ugandans that we should use to modernize Uganda. The killers of the Chikandwa 9 in the end paid a heavy price and they were defeated. NRA won total victory in 1986 on the 26th of January. I thank you and I wish everybody a happy and a safe Mother's Day. Your Grace, that is a message from His Excellency the President. Thank you. Brethren, let us receive the message from His Excellency, which has been ably delivered by the Vice President. Thank you so much. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an internal inheritance. Amen. May you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, believing in a right man on this earth, united with him in the homeland of heaven. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, masters, and Bishop, the, the pilgrims have requested, and I think they kill him if I don't tell you that if you can bless their articles as they go back. Uh, I want to say, Quart of Yanu and Osama Mugisa, Mugwate, Bishop again of Mugisa Sahazunu, Nukom again, and even to Eve. Loving Father, we thank you and praise you for the articles of our faith that we have. The whole book, the Bible the rosary, the water, and all the other articles. We pray, Lord, you bless them as we use them. We keep away the influence of the evil one, so that we are helped to do your will in all that we do. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We we'll go for the photo, the poor to join this photo. And I repeat, it is the bishops together with the Prime Minister of the Republic of Uganda, the Honorable Speaker of the 11th Parliament of the Republic of Uganda, the Honorable Chief Justice the leader of opposition, the king of Toro, and the head of late in parliament, Lucy. Are now coming to the closure of how the day has been the third of june uganda matters day celebrations of the year 2022 the choir has been very great and it has something special there are youngsters that i wanted us to hear from at least so how are you i'm fine what is your name Birung philip can you speak a little louder what's your name Birung philip Birung philip yeah. which class are you i'm in senior one you're in senior one how old are you I'm 14 years. When did you join the choir? In March. In March this year. Yes. What inspired you to join the choir? Uh, the way the others, other people were singing. Mm. Now I, 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 I thought of joining the choir. So how have you found it? Like, w w would you love to be in the choir throughout? Yeah, I would like. Mm. What good things do you look at? Sometimes we learn through choir. Mm. Like when we are traveling to come. Which transcends this human understanding keep you on. The knowledge of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ. And the blessings of God the Father Almighty, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Rest upon each one of you. Rest upon greater Uncle Cluster. Rest upon all of you for what you have done. Rest upon the Eastern cluster as they prepare 2023 celebrations rest upon all of you now and forevermore amen, amen. amen. thank you very much keep standing for the color party you're 15 so how have you found serving god is it a good thing how who inspired you in the first place i was inspired by all my, my parents mm. and all and my cousin. Okay, they're yeah. all in the choir? No, my parents are in the choir, then my cousin is a priest. Mm. Yeah. So, how do you feel about today that you have put up a very great performance like we saw? I feel so well because it's always, it's always what I want. Mm. Like to serve God with all my heart, all my strength, and everything I feel like. I feel nice. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. You go and be part of the last performance. Go back and be part of the last performance. Let me talk to the ladies. Hello, my dear. How are you? Yes, fine. What is your name? Atugonza Rita. Atugonza Rita. How old are you? I'm 15. You're 15. Which yes. class are you? Senior one. You're in senior one? Yes. Mm -hmm. How has been your today? For how long have you been in the choir singing? 
we just started recently when we were at school, okay. not for too long, mm. two months two months back. Okay. So how have you felt about today's performance that you have been part of? I felt, I felt so blessed that I have, been, I have been involved in this choir and I feel so proud. Okay. Yes. So are you going to be part of the choir throughout? We don't know what will be the next plan because they are planning. Well, what, what is your plan, you yourself? Mine. Uh. I'm planning to join St. Seraphine Corinthians Viruka. Wow. All the best. Go back and be part of the last song. My dear, how are you? I'm fine. Your name? Nisima, da Nisima Daniela. Nisima Daniela. Yes. For how long have you been singing in church? Oh, actually, this is my first time. This is your first time? Yes. What inspired you? What attracted you to be part of the choir? To I, join? I loved singing me myself. Mm. But then I had nowhere to start singing. Okay. I didn't have any chance. Mm. And when we were told that we were joining, mm. then I joined. Okay. So are you going to be there throughout? Yeah, I wish to be there throughout if the program continues. Do you think it's a good thing for young children? Yes, it is. Why? Because we get to improve our talents. Okay. How about serving God? We also serve God in all singing because they say that mm. one who sings well mm. praises God twice. Wow. So you want to praise God twice? Yes. I wish you all the best, Miss Eva. Thank you. Kali, you can go back and, uh, and, and be part of the choir again. Those youngsters have touched my mind about how they have been performing here in the choir. Uh, they really put up a spirited kind of uh, performance in the choir and it was really massive. We thank you so much for having watched right from when we joined the pilgrims as they set off from Fort Porto and wherever. The other day we were with them, uh, the ones from Fort Porto, we joined them where they rested around Buloba. We came with them the whole day when they walked from Busega to here. In the night we were live with updates and again up to now you are still watching gbc tv we thank you so 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 much that is all we managed to give you i'm going to leave you with my brother katamba who will close in uganda he also has an interview here uh, to make with uh, to do with one of the choristers kaya katamba Kumutala Bloli, Bloli and Namugongo, Nga Esaza Lia Fort Poro Diocese, Ewansiwo Musumba, the Reverend Bishop Robert Kasaija Muhirwa Akik, Abakulembe Demo of Saba Okomono Deguno, Evin Tubinji, Ebiba Dewano, Erebia Fire Vinji, Ebiba Dewo, which will be there on Mulamazi. Okuva Bushen, Gayatambuza, Bigere, Pakawano, Era Wedua, Certificate Yamusima, Ate Nemsai To, Awena Kakuminena, Aonongana Wedua, Certificate Yamusima, Ea Tambu de Okuva Airport Protocol Diocese, Era Speaker of Parliament, Watu Namusima, Okubom Kizomunji, Namua Dola Rukumi, as by Yam Center Zai Uganda. Obu Kadenga, Busatu, Nemitua Longa Nsambu, Ateno Sako Kumuwe Lela Obu Lamwe Wona. Kwa ya etu yimbi de yeye saza, Aldi Nelia Fort Porto Diocese, Elan Soboto Kwa Atiriza Ko Omuchala Omuwa No, Mama Tuwe Kumanya Go. Kumanya Gange Wa Mpita, Obu Singa Tedi, Nduga Mutati Ya Mumbagane Sinoz Kwa Restas, Fort Porto Diocese. Uh, kwa ni miliza chiku olina, okubanti nawe e sasa lewe kunye omuza, obatomu kuba yimbi, haba yimbi e misa, e yaba jiri ziya pili alivu. Nina kusemelewa kuingi, hawa kuba gunu mundu ganyo kukubanza, kuikano nya mugongo, kwebe mbela omkitini sa kusana kiti, ayuma nizire no mwana wanga from St. Maria Goret, sinia secondary school, tizire tulibaviri. Jana <laughs> Uh, chino cha wele duwa ya ni ania kwa zejo Okula vika ati muwe mwete kate kabulo nje kulo mkolo Ente kaniza yone kwa zero reti reverend Joseph Musana Atengi 
Father Waitu wa Fort Potro. Okay. Uh, Ziviamo a Maniago? Ya Mabaraganga, ya Maneta Tetu kwa Vsinga, Zoi, Ndukire Mumbagane, Corastas. Atunaba na atuhuliriza ku UBC TV, Nesta TV, uh, Tuumba Umba na Mugongo, wa Nkumi Bili, uh, Bili Mwebili, e, Miaka e, Bili Ngatuba de Muru Umula, Ngatetuku Ngana, Wanongaba Kiriza, Okutukira Abajulizi ba Uganda. Abajulizi ba Uganda abiri uh, mwa babiri wano kuchikwa cha abajulizi abakatulichi uh, enamugongo uh, betujukira olunaku olwale ro kogatta abajulizi abava mu mambuka ga Uganda mu kitundu kimanyidwa nga Achori okuli David Okero ne Kyoto Irwa abonga uh, nabo bala bagatibwa ku bajulizi ba Uganda abiri mwa babiri abajulizi ababiri mwa babiri kuli ko mu julizi no wa mawagali Oyo ya sigala msaza liechinda mitiana Kuliko matia mulumba kalemba ya sigala odi kampala Kuliko yozefu mkasa bali kudembe Ata nansi baze kuketa Abo bali kujibu wino mchijukizo Abo bo weba sigala Yowana maria mzei Aba manyi echiwonko chejugula Oba kurubaga rodi Awo ye uh, Nge, nga bako liya kumijirila kilo vya saka baka mwanga ye we yatiwa andre ya kagwa andre ya kagwa ni nama magali boba sigala mwenyonyo atene mkade wa febi oli ya sigala etaka junge etisangi buwa mumukono buwe batia wajuli ziba Uganda ni basa lao kufa okusenga ukwega na kwezo tuwa gala kubeba za ababa dena fokuvira dala ena kusatu ya mabega Neno kusingi la dala olunakulu wa jio, haka ungezi, olunakulu wa lero, tambu defe na olulamba, mwebali nyo mwebali la dala, nze katamba, kulati miyo na wababa dewa no, okulaba nti, e, mikolo ujaba juli zibili, uh, bili, mwebili, uh, ojifuna bulonji. Haba kenye ya wabiki wa manji, kakwasa maiko joda nukomua, uh, umbe umbe tuweba za mwebali nyo mwebali. We are just closing, but the Ugandans who say they want to say hello on, uh, on TV, huh? Quickly. Hi everyone. What is Yaya, your name? My name is Patricia. Okay, all the best. Uh, Hi everyone. I'm Batude Joslin. Ma, happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. I'm Namwanje Kalu. Happy Mother's Day. Muzai, you want to say something? Hey. Uh -huh. Quickly. This is Master David Vire from Toro Archdiocese. Hi everyone. Okay, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching. That is all we had for you today. My name is Michael Jordan. Nukomwa Elijah Bukenya Katamba Chiriowa. Irene Naiga, Fakul Apokul Lubwama, uh, the whole team, Brian Mutebi, Jatindi Lawrence, and everyone, plus the team back at UBC in the studios, Luwaga Michael here. We thank you so much for all the effort, plus all our seniors. May the good Lord bless you. Happy Uganda Matters Day. We wish you the best of the weekend. Bye-bye. Well, uh, we have finally come to the end of this today's session or this year's Matters Day celebrations here at the Anglican Shrine and His Excellency Yori Kakuta Museven was the chief guest here though he was represented by the first or oh, the, the, the Vice President of Uganda, High Excellency Retired Major Jessica Aruko. As you can see, guests are now trying to wrap up and to depart this place after a very colorful event which has been happening here since the morning hours if i'm to be exact the service here started at exactly 9 a.m in the morning and by now we have finally seen its closure the vice president was representing the president of the republic of uganda and the message the president at least sent her with was mainly centering on urging religious leaders, urging Ugandans to embrace developmental projects like the Mioga. The president also said it is now time for Ugandans, if they want to uplift their livelihoods, to embrace government programs like the partial development model so that they can effectively and unitedly benefit from the government programs. There is the 
there's a photo moment happening here before we see off the guests. Uh, I can see the Vice President, the Archbishop, Dr. Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mugaru. In attendance here was also the Deputy Speaker, Right Honorable Thomas Taewa. There was the former Speaker, Rebecca Ritwala Kadaga. I've seen the former Prime Minister, uh, Right Honorable John Patrick Amama Mbabas was also present. There were some ministers. Yes, right there I can see Taewa uh, at least whispering to Right Honorable uh, Rebecca Kadaga. Then that is a, a cross section of the clergy members who are here trying to at least be part of that photo moment. You can look at the smiles, their faces totally says it all that this is a golden chance to be having or to be being part of this photo. We will see of now the vice president there. Is, is, is seems to be prepared, is exiting, she's waving to, to the clergy here. That is it, the Vice President is leaving, and uh, let me see if we can get one or two members here so that they can also share with us how they feel. Uh, how, how are you, Reverend? Yes. yes. Uh, how do you feel to have been part of this matter's designation? Uh, it's a great day. It's a great day when uh, we commemorate the day remembering is uh, especially young men of faith who, because of their faith in Christ, would not deny that faith in them and uh, were ready to die for their faith. And as we celebrate it, it's a, a challenge to us to be able to stand for the truth, even if it means that we will die very well aware that those who die in Christ, yet they will live. Well, uh, you have heard the message there is very clear that the matters who died for the religion, the faith, we should also be emulating them in our daily life. So uh, I want to see if I can get, this is a woman member of parliament from Otuke district. Otuke district were part of those people who initially arrived in this place, even when it was like a few weeks to the event. Honorable, how are you? I'm okay. I'm too glad and too happy to be in the Lord. I, I remember when we found you moving from Otuke, we found you around Luero. Did you see yourself making it to this day? We really made it in after two days. After you meeting us, we made it in two days. We reached here on Saturday. And uh, we realized that we were the first team to arrive that day. The first boy arrived and we arrived after him after 30 minutes. But I see since that day everything is just moving on smoothly. Uh, one last word to the Otuke people who are watching you. All what I did was first of all also for my people of Otuke and I pray that God do something to my district. God knows the situation of my district. I, for one, I cannot do anything to change the situation in my district, but when I suffer before God, I believe that through my prayers, God will do something for my district. Thank you, Honorable Susan Abeja. That is a man member of parliament from Otuke district. We want to hold it here. We want to tell you that it has been a colorful event here at the Anglican Shrines in Nambongo. After two years of not having such gatherings, we are glad to inform you that it has finally, God has finally never did. As UBC, we want to thank all the colleagues who have been here with Doris Jatindi, who have been with Philip Aguta, Stephen Kalisha, David and other team, we want to even thank our team at the Broadcast House that you have done us great. And as a team, we have walked this great journey. For now, we want to leave you and enjoy a happy Matters Day.